Hello everyone, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. Kyle. And we're here to play some more Star Wars Unlimited. This time, we don't have a third person watching us play two player. That third person is now playing the game with us. We're playing multiplayer format, Twin Sons. Twin Sons, three to five players recommended. But you could play as many players as you want to stick around a giant table or play outside in the grass and have a big giant circle, you know, like kindergarten and everyone can play together. And you just have to like, sorry, what, how much damage is on your base over there? You could put as many players as you want. They recommend though three to five, but supposedly you can go unlimited. Anyways, uh, so we're going to play that format today. I'm going to explain how it works. I've played Twin Suns twice, I believe. And Mel and Kyle have never played. So if you've never played it or never heard of it or were like, whoa, what the hell? What is this you're doing today? And why on your thumbnail do you have three decks versus each other and they have two leaders in each deck? What the heck's going on? That's not what my quick start guide tells me to do when I build decks. This, these rules are silly. Uh, so that's what we're going to play today. I'll explain it, uh, how it works. We'll play through a full game of it. Uh, I'll get Mel and Kyle's thoughts on it after I'll talk about my thoughts. And, uh, yeah, so I guess I can just start by explaining it. Hello, everyone joining live. Hello, hello, hello. hello. Uh, thank you to these people for supporting the channel, of course. Thank you to all 11 of you. Whoa, we've clicked the like button already. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, everyone who showed up on time. Make sure you yell at anyone who comes in late and, and we shun them from the chat. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Shame. Shame. Uh, hello. Yeah, hey Alex. Alex says, I forgot this was today. Yeah, this was supposed to be last week, but we decided to change it um, just because of things. So we bumped it a week, but yeah, it's today. I've um, been looking forward to it. Okay, Nick says, hey, I haven't had a chance to play Twin Suns format. Should be fun to watch as it always is on this channel. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh you. <laughs> so kind. Uh, Daniel says, hello, Rob, Mel, and Kyle. Also, the Millennium DeLorean. Yeah. Sure. More on that soon. If you play with more than four players, do you still only have the three counters? Yes, Minion, yes. Yes. So if you're playing like five, six, seven, eight player, which they don't recommend because it goes really, really, really long, they found in testing, I remember watching a live stream where the, the designers that developed the Twin Suns mode aren't necessarily the same designers that started working on the game at the beginning and everything. They actually had other designers that kind of break off from the regular design to like design this format separately. Oh. Um, and the goal of it was... Basically, if you've ever heard of, it's currently the most popular format in Magic the Gathering right now. It's called the Commander format. It originally was a format called uh, EDH. I remember back in the day, people said, I love playing EDH. I'm going to make an EDH deck. And I'm like, what the hell is EDH? I don't know. I don't play Magic. But supposedly as a fan-made variant, someone will tell me what EDH stands yeah, for. Yeah, I was waiting for that. I, for well, I forget yeah. what it is, but basically it's one of those, we've seen this in board gaming where like, fans come up with a mode or an expansion and then the company comes in and it basically takes it and publishes it makes it official mm -hmm. and that they took that format that was made by fans having only one card in a deck deck super big multiplayer format um lots of random craziness people started loving it magic actually came in and said all right we'll make it official we'll call it commander oh. and they started designing i think commander cards selling commander decks oh, pre-packaged oh, wow. uh, that have exclusive cards in them so even regular players might go grab commander set decks to play with the cards from them in the regular format anyways it turned out that format is now the most popular format i believe i've heard is um the most popular format in magic today like that's what most people wow. play is just one of every card in the deck 100 100 card decks 120 card decks in that format sort of like huge that's crazy yeah we see people at the local game yeah. just getting together and playing it and yeah. i'm always like oh that's cool um, yeah, Daniel says my favorite format. Yeah, a lot of people awesome. love it. They're super passionate. So it was cool the way Fancy Play Games said, okay, we're going to make a collectible card game. Uh, we can't forget, like, Magic, the most popular one. We have to, like, make a game that those fans might want to come over and play. Well, let's try to make all the formats that would appeal to them. So it was cool they made a multiplayer format because people were asking for it right away. As soon as the game was announced, people were like, okay, where's the multiplayer format? And they're like, nope, we'll wait on it. We'll spoil it later. Not yet. And eventually they did, and people played it and were like, yeah, this is awesome. And they supposedly solved a few problems that are in that mode. And I don't, I've never played it, so don't, don't quote me. But um, supposedly the way it finishes, uh, supposedly Commander can go on really, really, really long. And that turns some people off of it. 
Um, but in this mode, I'll talk about how the round ends, um, but it supposedly keeps the game kind of relatively shorter and puts a kind of an end cap on it. And like the wind condition is kind of better, supposedly. That's what I've heard people say uh, on the interwebs, uh, people who have actually played Commander and I haven't. So, um, but yeah. And the other cool thing I've learned from putting together some of these uh, decks is that they only need one of each card. So the cool thing is opening a bunch of packs for this game, you start to realize that hyperspace variant, like the full bleed mm -hmm. foil and the hyperspace foil are not as common and easy to get as you'd think. So you'll have a bunch of one ofs of these random other formats that kind of like stick out in your deck, right? You might have three copies of, I don't know, Luke Skywalker in your deck. Yeah, right. Who can afford that? <laughs> uh, you might have three copies of uh, Leia in your deck, you know? And, and No, that's not a bad starter, example. She's starter, a starter, starter card. Darth uh, Vader. No, wait, no. No, Darth Vader, bad example. Uh, you might have General Veers. Uh, <laughs> you might have General Veers in your deck. And you might have a foil one, a regular one, and another regular one. You know, and then you might have Chewbacca. And you have two hyperspace versions and one regular, you know? It's like, it's, it's hard to get the set of three for a premier format standard deck, you know? But in Twin Suns, you only need one of every card. So there's that perfect uh, perfect ability and easier chase to bling out your deck with, like, all foils. So I can see people hunting down, like, a full hyperspace deck or a full foil deck or a full hyperspace foil to have it all uniform and it's not as expensive or as hard to find. Just needing one of every card, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a fun little side mission for, like, completionists or, like, people like to hunt down stuff. So it's kind of neat. And I, I think that's maybe why they did that, the way they made those variants, uh, thinking about this mode, maybe. Maybe not, though. I don't know, but uh, seems cool. So. Before uh, you explain, can I yep. say something? Yeah. Are you going to explain now? I think it's only Just this one time you can say something. Okay. Go. I think it's only relevant because of last week we played, we switched the stream so that we could play regular because we thought we were going to a showdown, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. We ended up going on Sunday to our local store to play. Thank you for helping practice. Oh, is Mel going to tutor on horn I here? I am. I am. And I won, everyone. Oh. I won with my Leia deck. How many players was it again? Uh, 14. 14. Or 14. Mm -hmm. 14 players. Yep. Some who drove 45 plus minutes from out of town to meet on Sunday, mm -hmm. as we do each week, to play a premier format tournament. Sometimes we get 20 something players. On the holiday, we had 10. Um, some weeks we get 16. But it's not an easy group of players. They come with meta decks like. They got some of the cards, you know, some of the high, higher defined cards. A lot of great players uh, know what they're doing. There are some new people that come every week and like kind of don't know the whole rules or maybe net deck to deck and don't know how it works. But varying skills. But there are some very good players there. And Mel came and rolled them all. I did. 4-0. Yeah. She beat me too. I did. I had to beat Rob to, to I make it that you, way. I told you. I made a monster, man. Yep. So I only wanted to say it in this stream because it's relevant because we were practicing last week and that was the deck. I think, I don't think I tweaked any cards after we played on yeah. stream and then that was the deck I took and I won. Yeah, we were playing at home and like I was beating Mel and she's getting kind of discouraged. I'm like, okay, I have all these cards set aside. Try some of these, switch them out. Try things you like, take out cards you don't. Like, let's figure it out. And we would play every evening a little bit here, a little bit there and eventually she's like, okay, I like it. Yep. Basically after she beat me like three times in a row with different decks, she was like, uh, like with me playing different decks. I was like, well, now my decks don't work. I, like, what am I going to do? <laughs> I knew mine was locked in. <laughs> yep. But yeah, so she, uh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Yep. So yeah, I did want to do my own horn here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she goes up to the register after, and she's like buying some paints. Uh, and then the guy's like, oh, you're you're Mel, right? Yeah. I, every time they were saying, like, you, well, you're really good at the game. Like, they kept, every time they said your results, it was always Mel won. Mel won. Every round, it was Mel won. And, like, not everyone else was saying that. <laughs> it's like, you're really good at the game. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, it was good. It was fun. The crazy part is our store showdown got canceled at the one store, and there was another store running a tournament, but that store didn't advertise as a store showdown. And a whole bunch of people went, and then they pulled out the prize kit for the store showdown and ran it like a store showdown. Yeah. And we missed out on it. Yeah, because so we could have went to that. We could have went to that instead, yeah. and totally, like, it was closer, too. We just didn't, that store just didn't advertise it at all. They, like, it was their first ever event for the game. 
and they just decide to use their store shut on kit. Were they supposed to? No, probably not. No, I don't think so. I don't think they were at all because that other store that was doing the same day had to cancel because Asma they told them they couldn't do it that early. That they were doing it, but yeah. this other store didn't say what pricing they were going to use. So yeah, I don't want to say the name of the store. Yeah, but because maybe Asma Day would not be pleased with them and then tell them no Catan for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, they shouldn't have done it, and I, it sucks. That I would have gone there yeah. and played in it for sure. Yeah. Sad, sad panda, sad panda. Same. You're Mel. I've seen your streams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Uh, let's see what else here. Yeah, I forgot about that. Feels like so long ago. No, it was just Sunday, but I knew I wanted. I was like here three days ago, and I feel like that was so long ago, like so yeah. long ago. But it's I knew because fun. I was playing that deck a couple weeks in a row here, right? Like yeah, yeah, in between. So yeah. Yep. yeah. So anyone watching the stream could have known they saw saw the pain, the monster developing. <laughs> uh, but yeah. You're both welcome. On. Hey, hey, Wookie Mark, keep it down. Keep it down. <laughs> keep, keep it I down. Gotta, I got to come up with something new by then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, just make, uh, uh, Wookie Mark, just make sure that um, that date is okay with um, like Lion Rampant slash Asthma Day uh, distribution. Just because a couple stores have tried to do it and they got, they got told no. And I don't know when the official allowed two season starts. But it supposedly was eight weeks after launch. And I feel, I don't know if that 28th date is, is within eight weeks after launch. Because it was supposed to be eight weeks with the uh, organized play packs mm -hmm. kit. Mm -hmm. They were supposed to use that for eight weeks. And then after the eight weeks, two months after that, they were allowed to do store showdown season. I feel like that would be close though. I know. Because but I didn't go to a few. Yeah, you just don't want to get in trouble because like, um, so what they're doing is, stores that are allowed to run a store showdown they've given them the kit and then they've given them a box a booster box to give away for free okay. just like they did during pre-release yeah so if your store is running a store showdown and not giving away a lot of uh, booster packs they screwed you and decided to sell or open or make singles out of their booster box so every store doing a store showdown got a free um booster box of packs is what i've been told just like the pre-release so i don't know if that's a US Canada thing uh, or both, but um, that's a thing I heard. And also they, they're not allowed to run store showdowns until eight weeks after the launch of the game. Which uh, was when, uh, what you were asking, was it the fourth or the eighth? I think it was the eighth, March right? 8th was launch day, I think. Yeah, um, I think that so. sounds that familiar. Sounds right. Yeah, you could probably Google it, uh, or I can probably Google it. There's probably like an article somewhere that says it. Yeah, eighth. It is it eighth? Yeah, okay, okay. So whatever eight weeks after the 8th of March is, is when you're allowed, quote unquote, to start running your store showdowns, was what I heard from like other store owners and stuff. Do you think they give a little bit of wiggle room? Like if you did it on the 7th week, you'd be fine? Like, well, obviously the store did it and I mean, I, who knows what will happen, but I don't think anybody's saying the name on purpose. Yeah. And again, there's the, also using the official software. Is FFG looking at that? If you try to use that for a store showdown? They can see that you're doing it. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what causes the problems is people trying to set up their store oh, showdown in there. Because you want to set up your store showdown in the official like tech software or whatever so that it's advertised like on yeah. the website. Yeah. So I can put in my address and find out there's a store showdown in my area and go meet players and show up and trade cards and build decks and expand the game, right? But if these stores are doing these store showdowns without using that software or putting it out online, then they're going to get less players. They're not going to grow their player base. And then maybe FFG in the future, probably not for the first couple of sets. They're probably not going to be that strict, but we know Asmodee, right? The whole idea they bought a bunch of board game publishers was to try to have control and then tell comp like stores that don't follow the rules, uh, don't get to sell Catan and Ticket to Ride and stuff in their store, which are big money makers yeah. every holiday, right? Um, so there's some of that stuff there you don't want to piss off Asmodee basically is is what I've learned playing FFG games over the years and organized play for 12 years in the FFG world is that's that's kind of what it happens so yeah I don't know we'll see we'll see but yeah just uh the question though comes is why do they send it so early why don't they wait until so it doesn't get delayed by, well yeah but if you wait until <laughs> five, week five or like four or five and then send it at least then it's in the later half of the eight weeks uh, I don't know but 
I don't know. They probably just got them out to stores and were like, here, hold this. It probably has the thing saying, wait till later. But then yeah, they're like, okay, yeah. I, I want to get rid of this. Like, I don't want to sit here on this. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see. Oh, it'll be seven weeks and change. Like, I'm sure that's fine. Yeah. I know, Wikimar, I know the software is janky. Yeah, I know it's in know. beta. We've played many <laughs> FFG games over the years. I, if you remember when the Keyforge started, uh, that whole software had issues with pairings and all that stuff. All the same stuff we're seeing now. We dealt with that with uh, Keyforge 2 when the software launched. It was messy. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, it's still in like beta and, and I don't think they care until like set two or three to start doing like official OP in there and forcing it and everything. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, anyways. All right. Let's talk some Twin Suns. Um, yeah. So Twin Suns, I guess, uh, we can go here. So if you want to know how it works and you don't want to listen to me explain it, or if you don't feel I explain it properly, uh, there is, I can put a link in the chat here. If you want to read, but I'll just give like kind of the highlights of what Twin Suns is. But this article here kind of explains the differences. Let's see if I can make it bigger so we all can read it on your screens. So, uh, Twin Suns, basically, like, you're getting together, you're going to play Star Wars, and you have a bunch of players, and, and you know, you want you want to get together and play in the same game instead of having people play separately. So, if you have three to five players, you might want to play Twin Suns. It introduces two new counters. Uh, let me go here. Uh, I have these counters. They are fan-made. Uh, I think this art is the official art of the planning counter, but this is not the official art of the blast counter. Um, but there are different, uh, fan-made ones on the internet. If you go on Etsy, you'll find them. Uh, Fantasy Flight Games is working with Gamegenic to make official ones. Uh, I heard them mention it on a stream. They were using prototypes. Uh, but I don't know when or if those are going to be available and how. They might release them through organized play prizing. They might release some retail. But if anyone knows, the other Gamegenic tokens are, like, impossible to find. So I wouldn't wait for those. Um... So I went online and found a place uh, in the same province as me and purchased them. But just go on Etsy, search Star Wars Blast or Star Wars Planning Counter or Token, uh, and you'll find many options and more being released every day. There's like tons. Just go find someone who makes ones near you and decent shipping and stuff. Uh, but these counters are the Blast and Plan counters, okay? This is kind of like the main difference-ish thing through for the gameplay. We'll talk about deck building in a bit. So... In a normal game, a uh, premier game of Star Wars Unlimited, or I guess even a limited game of Star Wars Unlimited, uh, like uh, Sealed or um, Draft, you will be playing with just the initiative counter. Do we all know how the initiative counter works? You take it, and that considers you passing for the rest of the round, infinite passes, and now you will go first in the next action phase, okay? That works the exact same here. Okay, so we have an initiative counter, but instead of the I'm going to take initiative action, it's being replaced with a I'm going to take a counter action and you get to choose any one of the counters that are currently available in the center of the table that a player hasn't grabbed yet. Okay, so the blast counter instead, of, I could take any one. So I don't the initiative doesn't have to be taken first. Um, but some people might grab it first because they want to go first and feel like that's more valuable at the time. Or you can take the blast counter. If I take the blast counter, just like when I take the initiative counter, it is considered to be passed for the rest of the round. I can't do anything else, okay? So that still applies to all of these counters. Taking a counter action, same thing. Except for the blast counter, when you take that, it's not going to guarantee you go first next round. What it's going to do is actually ping one damage to each opponent's base. Which I guess got the targeting, you know, computer on there, little little site, you're gonna shoot them, that's the kind of thing. So if I take this, one damage on your base, one damage on your base. Okay, that's how that works. Immediately? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it might be a timing reason, but like once you take that, you're passed and done. Okay. The planning counter helps you plan a little bit uh for the future. So the planning counter, how that works, let's say I have a hand of cards here. And I decide uh, I'm done for the round. I'm going to take the planning counter. What that will do is immediately let me draw a card. Look at my hand. And then take any card from my hand, including the one I just drew if I want. And put a card on the bottom of my deck. That's it. And now I've considered a pass for the rest of the round. Okay? That's it. 
You cannot soft pass. There is no pass action anymore. There is only playing a card, attacking, not a good example, playing a card, attacking, those are still actions. There is no pass action anymore in Twin Suns. There is only take a counter action. Sorry, correct me. There is the pass action, but if you pass, you are done. Okay? So you might as well grab a token. Unless you're playing like four or five player and there is none left, you may just have to pass. But if you pass, you are considered done for the rest of the game. Let's rest of the round. Sorry. Rest of the round. There is no soft passing. If there was soft passing, and I'm sure they tried that in playtesting, yeah. and they just watched the players go pass, 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 pass. Six hours later, finally someone's like, all right, I'll play a card, you know? Because people would just be passing like crazy. It would lead to a lot of analysis paralysis. I know it would. Um, so there's no soft passing in this version of the game. So you might as well, in three player, obviously grab a counter. Unless you have one card left that you really want and someone left planning. Correct. Maybe, maybe you could just like, pass. No. Yes, yeah. you could just say, I'll pass them. And you don't, you don't have to take a token. If you're all done with your actions, you can just pass normally. Yeah. Is how I understand it. Uh, oh, you don't believe you could choose to pass? Uh, let's find out. So it's called uh, take an available counter action instead of take the initiative. Okay, let's let's look forward here. Uh, I already explained what the counters do. So it says speaking of initiative, the player with initiative still takes the first action. Uh, okay, two major exceptions. The first is the, to take an available counter action we described above. The other is you cannot pass until you have no other legal actions to take on your turn. Oh, which one would be to take an available counter? Gotcha. Okay. So the only way you could pass then is if no tokens remain and you have no other legal actions to do on your turn. Mm -hmm. Which you can't do in a 4-3 player. So. Right. So you could stick someone with a uh, planning if they still can draw a card. They could put that card on the bottom. Yeah, you don't have to you don't have to replace oh, yeah, yeah. You five. can put the card replace. you want underneath. Yeah. So you're not like screwing them or anything. It's still good to do that. Um Okay, so that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I played this four players before, and obviously there's only three tokens, so you have to be able to pass. And it's just when you don't want to do anything any, anymore. And it doesn't mean you have to play a card in hand if you have the resources. You would just pass because there's no tokens left and you don't want to do anything else. Okay. How do you win? You win not by eliminating the other players, which that could take a long time. Yeah. Especially if people have healing and sentinels and your deck doesn't have saboteur. Uh, you could be sitting there all day, right? So how you win in this is really cool. Once the first player to go down to zero HP left on their base. They've taken all the damage their base can handle. They are eliminated, they're done. Pack it up, go home. But what that does, that, that immediately triggers the last round of the game. So once that, that round you're currently in finishes, the game is over. And then you check who has the most remaining HP on their base. So obviously having the 25 bases and the 30 health bases, obviously that math is different there. You just want to have the most HP remaining. Not the least damage, the most health remaining on the base. The cool part is, if you are the player to knock another player out by doing the last damage on their base, you immediately get a heal five on your base. So you're incentivized to take people out at the right time to heal up, but that also triggers the end of the game. So it's kind of cool, like, you need to eliminate somebody to end it, you need to have the most health, so they give you a 5 HP bonus for doing such things. So you're kind of like incentivized not to let the game go on forever. Right. Uh, which is neat. So this is what people like a lot, is the way the game is designed. It's like not going to go on forever. Unless the players literally are just never attacking each other. But uh, once one player's base gets, gets destroyed, it's like, okay, this is the last round. Let's finish her up. Um, so normally, from what I understand, and my experiences uh, are the same as this, what I've heard... A full game, if it lasts, depending on the number of players, if it lasts an hour, an hour and a half, two hours, 50% of the game will be all of the rounds up and before the last round. The other 50% of the time of the game is the last round. And anyone who's played any multiplayer card games, that's normal. That is so normal. Um, this format 
reminds me very much of, and we played a little bit, um, but we used to watch tournaments of it, in Game of Thrones, the living card game, which Fantasy Flight Games designed in like 20, two, no, 2003 or 2004 or something like that. And it was a CCG and it became an LCG. And in that first edition LCG had a format called Melee. And it was like three to four players or something. And they had little rolls, just like these tokens, they had little rolls that helped you out. Um, and you were attacking all the players and there was lots of po politicking at the table. And some of the players who played that game back in that day are, and worked on that format and designed the game at that time, also worked on this game. So you can see the influence and the connection there. So this gives me a lot of reminders uh, that, you know, the DNA from that multiplayer format's there also. But again, I've never played Commander, but I'm sure people are like, well, this also from that format too, maybe. Yeah. But I don't know, that, that Melee format was around for quite a while, and I'm not sure... I'm not sure the timing on that, but yeah. So it's going to be like that where we're like, that final round might get a little slow where we're all very carefully like, crap, if I just do one choice different, it might be in the difference between winning or losing based on like just you having one more HP than me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're just trying to like have the most health on your base. But again, you take out somebody and you get five HP heals. Very interesting. What if there's a tie for the most HP? Uh, Minions has its shared victory then. Yeah, probably. Like I don't that. know. We can uh, vote, have the chat vote and tell us who's the winner then and see. Uh, or roll a die. I, I, I don't <laughs> care. I don't know. I just want to play the game. It's fun. Um, and what else? What else is in here? Oh, it's just... oh okay. Deck building. Deck building. Uh, big, big part of this. Okay, so I talked about the gameplay and the differences. I think I've covered everything. You'll see it obviously here as we play through a full game of it. Deck building though. In this format, you play with two leaders, hence the name Twin Sons. So you have two leaders working together, and you pick one base. So now you actually could have a third color mixed in your, your deck that you normally wouldn't. And the cool part is that now opens up the card pool. Even with only the first set being a small card pool, you can still kind of change your deck and make it different, even if you're using the same colors and same leaders as someone else. Obviously, as more sets come out, the decks will get more varied, as expected. But you're only allowed to have one copy of every card in your deck, which we talked a little bit about earlier. And that format is called Singleton, is the name of the official format, or, or deck building format. So one copy of any every card in your deck, sorry, has to only have one copy. So that's it. So you want to play Grand Moff Tarkin in your deck? One Grand Moff Tarkin, that is it. So it turns into this crazy 50 card deck of just like, what am I going to draw? Yeehaw, pull the slot machine handle and see what you get and make it work. It's it's crazy. And and at playing a game uh, that's not consistent because your deck doesn't have three copies of every card making it consistent to make engines work and combos fire off consistently scared me at first. I was like, man, I'm not going to like this. It's going to be so frustrating. It's going to feel like playing with starter decks and like Pokemon where it's like yeah. one of every card and you can't make anything working or whatever, you know? Um, no, it's not like that. It's really fun. Uh, it's just fun drawing a bunch of random cards and trying to make them work. It's just crazy. And then the combos you can have from having maybe three, to, without having to pay aspect penalties, you can start bringing in colors that kind of make combos and break things, but it happens rarely because you have a 50 card deck. When set four releases, um, when set four releases for the game, they've announced that it will go up to 80 card minimum deck size from 50. Uh -huh. So you'll have to have 80 card, but it's still not the 100 or whatever that's yeah. in Commander. So I'm sure we won't see any official products and official decks and stuff for the game until set four, when they officially make it uh, 80 card minimum, and basically then the format's kind of like locked in. But until then, it's 50 card minimum deck and one copy of every card. Okay. But that makes sense why the planning action might actually be valuable, yep. right? Oh, any tutoring digging and digging. In, yeah, all all those cards that you see in the set that people laugh at, like um, planning for takeoff, going and searching your deck for two vehicles, or um, what's the blue? There's a blue one where Luke's looking at himself in the helmet. Um, search your feelings. You can search your whole deck. It's a blue card. Grab anything you want. Obviously, cards like that are like, wow, yeah. that's amazing in this format. Yeah. So all those cards everyone laughs at and doesn't play with uh, that much index now, uh, in this format, I'm sure you're going to throw all those in maybe, right? Yep. I don't know if I included the decks down below. Um, but if I didn't, I can put them in there later. 
Oh, I didn't. Uh oh. Hmm. I can do that. I'll do that in the, during the game, like when it's yeah. yeah I'll figure it out. Uh, I have them somewhere. When you're out. When you're not. <laughs> yeah, when I'm out at the yeah. end of the game. Or he'll he'll be mags. I just realized. Yeah. yeah, I just grabbed some decks I found online based on you guys recommending what leaders to play last week. Um, so yeah. It's Highlander. There can only be one copy of each card. That's the magic version. Yeah. Oh, okay. They call it Singleton in this format. Uh, and that's, I guess, FFG's term format. I don't know. Oh. Singleton format. I'm that's sure. what they called it. I'm sure, Highlander. Someone owns that. Yeah, so, maybe. I want to pay tribute to that. Yeah, yeah. Officially. <laughs> Does magic call it Highlander, like, in official documentation? You know what I mean? Maybe that's something they, they coined or... So if you need the tokens, you can print them off here. They have a um, little PDF here explaining the counters. So they're making official ones of these, but when they announce it, they put these online so you can go print them, print them on cardboard or paper or whatever. Um, so that's what the official tokens look like. I was looking online and I think on Etsy, people are kind of like, don't want to copy the official stuff, but I wish they did because um, I would have bought those. But well, this one's... No, it's like exactly. Yeah, I know. It's just a white box around it. Yeah, so I'm not sure why. I didn't realize these were see-through. Yeah, I know. It's, it's neat. This one's not, though. But Actually, the set came with, like, this oh, as an okay. initiative. I couldn't buy it, like, separate. They just came as a set. Um, but I'm sure a lot of people need these. I can't get, like, the... Uh... Yeah. I know they gave these out in the States as, like, organized play stuff oh, or yeah? pre-release. Pre-release, they were handing these out. Oh. Canada, I not that I saw. I don't know. Maybe Canada had them, but we didn't see them in our stores. Hmm. Oh, okay. Highlander CCG calls it Highlander. Oh, there you oh, go. maybe the fan made variant was called Highlander, and the Magic called it something else. I don't know. Not that it matters. We don't like talking about the Magic here. <laughs> oh, just talk about Highlander. You ever watch that show? Uh, no, no, no. I saw it on TV when I was younger, but I never really watched it. That's like the guy's like he's like invincible and like lives forever or something, yeah. travels through time yeah, or he, something. Maybe not. He he lives very long. Very long. Well, that's it. Goes around the sword, cuts off heads of other Highlanders. Oh, yeah. oh. it's very like, oh, early '90s show. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah. So well, I assume we roll to go first. Yeah, yeah I, ha I have some happens. dice here. One sec, maybe I can. Yeah, take your time. I can get the deck list actually that I shared with you guys, right? Yeah, yeah. I just know I have them on another computer, sitting in like a links I put in like a file, and I was gonna. Copy them into the thing, and I did not. Yes, yes. Okay. Give me, give me a couple minutes here. I'll put them in. Uh. Whoa. Thanks. Thanks. I didn't look at your decks at all, so I have no idea what's coming. Ah, eh, whatever. <laughs> Gonna be the Wild West, as you, you said. You and I both. Did you have open no ours? idea what's coming? <laughs> Did you open yours? <laughs> no. It's like yeah. one of every card. I'm gonna look at each one and I be know. like, "Oh, I'm gonna. I can't wait till I get that one." I know, like, right? <laughs> every time this comes. Yep. All right. That one seems shuffled. Oh yeah, they had to announce it. Uh, I forgot that part. I knew they had to cut off their heads, but they actually have to say there can be only one before cutting the head off. Really? Oh. Yeah. So it's like when you're playing Uno, if you don't say, you know, Uno at the end, you don't win or whatever? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Islanders okay. can only die if their head is cut off. Only... So like if they get stabbed, they're not going to die. Yeah. Only if they lose their head. Really? Wow. I learn something new every day. Kyle, you're a sicko. That's the kind of <laughs> stuff you watch. <laughs> Like I said, early like '90s, I think the show was. Guy with long hair running around. Like when Zeno the Warrior Princess was yeah. on TV. Yeah, it's very similar. Gotcha. <laughs> Back when TV was cool. Yep. <laughs> what do you mean it's not cool anymore? <laughs> no, now it's just long yeah. movies broken into episodes. No longer TV anymore. Oh, I don't think they had to say it. They just did. <laughs> There's movies too. Oh, okay. 
I don't think I've seen any of any of it. Okay, I've updated the video description. I've put the deck links in there. If you're watching live, just refresh the stream and then go down to the video description. You'll find the links to the decks there. I didn't create them. I just grabbed them from the interwebs. Um, so you can see who created them there. And I don't think any of them had write-ups or anything. They just had funny titles. Um, yeah. One of, one of them is called, uh, Mel is playing one that's somebody named Sibling Sons. Fair. Okay, Sibling Sons. Kyle's deck's named Speed Run to the Enemy Base. <laughs> okay. All right. And the deck I'm playing is called Appetite for Destruction. <laughs> created by Anonymous. Uh, Kyle's deck's created by uh, Lee San. Thank you for making the deck and posting it online. Uh, I don't know if any of these are good. I just found some that had the heroes and just built them. I don't know. They're all one ofs and stuff. Who knows? Uh, it's all just funny. Uh, and then Mr. Ghosto. Uh, thank you for posting the sibling sons deck thank that you. we're using here on stream today. Were these the heroes you chose? These are the ones that chat said he should play oh, with. Right, right, right. So then I just went on and looked at decks like this and then was like, all right. Nice. nice. Made sure I had the cards for them. Sibling sons? <laughs> no! <laughs> sibling sons. Sibling sons. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Sean says, may the like be with you. Use the force like button. <laughs> Thank you for clicking the like button, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Sean, for reminding me to remind people. I appreciate it. Uh, 25 likes already. Thank Woo. you, guys. Woo. Okay, okay. Let's play the game. Are we cutting decks or what? No. Sure. Cut my deck. Let's not mix ours up here. I'll cut yours. Yeah, you gotta cut ours. No, you gotta cut mine. All right. He's it, gotta cut mine. I gotta cut two decks. Who cares, oh, man? Rob, did you cut mine too? <laughs> and get sliced evenly. But wouldn't it uncut it if I if we yeah. cut it and then cut it back? Yeah. Doesn't it uncut it? I don't know. All right, let's see. Uh, whoever gets highest chooses who gets we'll initiative. Die. Yeah, I don't, I'm not used to this. I know. I didn't want to hurt anybody. Oh, ties. Let's see if I can get a four. Yes! Oh! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> we tied. What are the odds of that? Somebody will tell us. One. Two. Oh, six. Kyle. So, Kyle, who, want, who do you want to have initiative? And it can be you. And we're not using it. We're using this. Do you want to take initiative? Why did that? Do you switch to back? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like this. That one. was cool. I know, but I thought you were. Uh, okay, sure. But we don't get to choose these, right? That's for the next. Nope. That just sit, they sit okay. in the middle of the table you until can someone takes them. Right at the start. Yeah, yeah. You could. Yeah, you just pass your whole turn. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Draw your six and do your first. The normal stuff. Uh, too many cards. Too many cards. Whoa. Oh. Oh. I can mulligan this. So oh. the last game we played, uh, Mel and I, was Lord of the Rings Living Card Game. So instantly when I play a whole other card game, especially one published by Fantasy Play Games, whether it's cooperative or competitive, I will start forgetting rules and things. So feel free to yell at me if we're doing something wrong. Uh, we're not pros with this game if you're new here. Uh, we're still learning. We're still learning. Be gentle. But feel free to call out things you see in the chat, you know? Uh, or in the comments, just timestamp it. It helps other people learn from our mistakes. But yeah, feel free to ask questions too. I'll try to answer them best I can, or somebody in the chat I, will. I think Nick has a question that maybe the chat can help answer. It says, which leaders do you feel are best for this format? I've never played. Okay. Kyle's never played. Again, very minimal experience. I've only played twice. I haven't sat there theory crafting about this format at all. But from my experience, the coolest combo I've seen is Grand Inquisitor and uh, Director Krennic. And I thought it was because... You know, you got the blue and the red together, just like if you're playing a Grand Inquisitor blue deck, you know, all the grit and stuff like that, and the healing together seems great, right? No, I didn't realize Director Krennic is also only has three power. So you can use Grand Inquisitor to ready Director Krennic and get multiple restores firing off in a turn, um, which is crazy. And if you're playing with heal cards, heal up the Director Krennic or put attachments on him and keep writing him uh, with Grand Inquisitor, and it's kind of annoying. And uh, yeah, but really cool, really cool. All right. Format's wild. These are nice cards. <laughs> oh, Serenity now. I'll keep. What's an arena? Uh, so space versus ground. I know, but it, can you, in this format, can you, like, like, are you asking, is everybody... If, if I choose space as an arena, do I have to choose, like, your playmate? No, all it would hit okay. everybody. Correct. Everybody. So, arena so if, you're like, at, if you're, like, damaging everything in an arena or exhausting everything yeah. in an arena, it's 
all of everyone's arena of that. Just like if it was in a two player game, you hit both. Yeah, yeah. So for this, because your ground arena is labeled, we'll do our ground arenas are here. So they're kind of like together. Think of it, we're all on the same planet. And then the space is like outside. Yeah, it's like far away outside. Sure. Okay, think of it like that. Sure. So space over here, space is labeled here. Just to keep it like easier to follow. Um, but it's cool when you're playing four player, we're playing four player at a store and like, I think it was Nick came up with it, was like, um, yeah, he's like, let's play together all on the inside is the oh. planet and then everything on the outside is like the space and they're sense. all like far away, Yeah, which are very easy to kind of like when you're quickly looking to like make sure everything's like where it should be. Because if people start flip flopping and playing wherever the hell they oh, want, it's like, mess. oh my God, no way. You, yeah. need, you need some order. The galaxy needs order. That's right. That's right. So I'm playing Vader and Aiden, if I didn't mention that. Uh, Mel's playing Luke and Leia. Mm -hmm. And Kyle's playing Cassian and Han. For those that weren't here last week telling us which ones we should play. I played this one. This is the one I kind of... I don't know if it's the same deck I played, but the same combo I played when I played Twin Sons of the Store. But I really like Aiden's like, heal in this format. It's fun. And Vader, the goal is let's see if we can get Vader on the table. That no, that's may not. or may not happen <laughs> if the game's too Hopefully quick. He's on the bottom. But if the game's too quick, maybe we play another one after. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to resource. That is tough. It is tough. Because you're like, this is my only card. Yeah, I'm never going to see I'm this like, again. Yeah, Am I okay with that? Amazing event that costs so much. <laughs> <laughs> you're red and yellow, red and blue. Okay. And green. I love the I love seeing all these colors in my hand that like normally wouldn't all be in the deck together. I love it. I love this whole like I know you're playing double red, which is weird, but it lets you play the double red cards, which I think is fun to play because we don't see them too often when we're playing. Um, but th the fact that I can have red, black, blue, and green all in the same deck is like so fun. I cannot wait till this game has a few more sets out and we're putting 80 cards of all these colors in the deck, like and wacky tabacky combos happening. Oh, so fun. Random, but do you think they'd ever do any kind of events in this format? Yeah, yeah. we have one at, at uh, the store in Toronto. It's doing a Twin Suns prizes, oh, draws, tickets, everything. They're, it's like 32 players Twin Suns event. They're doing it on like a Saturday or something. Yeah, so it's I guess you're just paired in a pod of four. I, I don't know. Uh, no. Or you're like... No, you'll just get... Yeah, you'll get paired in a pod, but like based on your record, you play with people with similar record. Okay, okay. So it'd you're, be like when we played Game like of Thrones. Remember we played Game of Thrones, the board game in that tournament format, and like based on your record, you play with like different yeah, people yeah. in the four yeah, players. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, that was fun. I might be interested in that. Let's see how today goes. <laughs> yeah, Nick, the the Kren quiz. Yeah, whatever, <laughs> whatever the hell you call that deck, <laughs> Kren Quisitor. Okay, you didn't build that one, right? I I need you to think of a better name than that, all right? <laughs> oh, too generic? Krenquisitor? I don't know, that doesn't sound right. Maybe this kind of cool is growing on me, actually. <laughs> You're first. Yeah, Kyle, what do you got? First action. <laughs> Are you already planning how you're going to beat us from yeah. the first no. go? Wait, you can't see, okay. So again, playing lots of multiplayer, Kyle has been playing with us for like, playing board games with us for like 12 plus years. Mel, obviously, we've all played. Uh, we started board gaming with Game of Thrones, the board game, second edition. And if anyone doesn't know, that game's heavily based off of, um, oh, what's the game called? It's like a political, like kind of Cold War war game, I think. I forget what it's called now. Um, but basically, it's full out of politics. So like if somebody starts getting in the lead or somebody pisses somebody off in the game, that the, the above table conversation could have a higher impact on the game than somebody just like attacking your base okay so there's like could be lots of politics and also like you might want to just go hard and try to eliminate somebody but it might leave you open to get attacked by somebody else and also if you're the one with the most health on your base which is the win condition you might become a target diplomacy so, diplomacy that's it Thanks, yes Michael. there's lots of diplomacy in diplomacy which the diplomacy is also in game of thrones board game which which we started our modern hobby board gaming playing that game which is competitive with lots of table talk and negotiating and politics and stuff um so this this can have that too obviously is this this is not mine anymore right this goes no it stays with you. with you until someone takes it until someone takes oh, it so and we'll do the whole flipping it over yeah. once it's taken yeah, yeah. kind of thing okay. but these will go back to the i keep putting these back to the middle of the table as soon as we're like hit the regroup phase there's yeah, no yeah, point yeah. anyone having so, these anymore makes sense yeah, because this could still matter for your cards. Yeah, yeah. So you have an issue right now based on things and we don't. So we'll just go clockwise around the table. 
Bale or Gone Again. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he played Bale. Get her. Hey, he played a guy too. It's yeah, of, that's just Benthic two points, cubes. More does more damage than mine. That's just Benthic. He's fine. All right. Yeah, he buffs red cards. Oh yeah, let's get him. All right. What? So I'll play an Inferno Four uh -oh. unplayed. Space. Space. <laughs> I'm gonna look at the top two cards, and I'm gonna put. Oh man. I want both cards. I'll put this one on top. This one on the bottom. And go. Because uh, actually, put this in. Okay. Yeah, Dune and Cosmic Encounter, other great games with that kind of like uh, political diplomacy kind of stuff going on, which is fun. I love games like that. But I've never played Dune or Cosmic Encounter, actually. I almost bought it when they like did a re the second edition or whatever or whatever it was. Or what did that guy gain? Tenth edition. This is shield. Oh. Okay. So I have an action that um I can spend yeah. an action and a resource, give a shield token to a heroic unit you played this phase. So a cool thing uh that you'll notice uh nice. anytime a game is normally designed for like a different player format or whatever, certain actions that you do lots, you play it in the other formats, you'll you'll get used to them. But then if you like reread them in a format where now you have three, four, or five players, all of a sudden it's a little different. So this says, if an enemy unit was defeated this phase, doesn't have to be Mel's unit, doesn't yeah, have yeah. to be Kyle's unit, could be any enemy unit. And you don't even have to be the one to defeat them, right? Correct. <laughs> yeah. So all of a sudden, like cards that you've built in your decks and you've read many times, you've analyzed how they play and you play them at your local store, all of a sudden these cards, you'll see like how the designers worded them that way, even though it might seem weird sometimes, they worded them for this format also. Uh, which is really clever. So you can start like really thinking outside the box with some cards, uh, which is cool. Is it my turn? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I will. Hmm. I'll take the planning. Hmm. Turn. Well, I'm waiting for him to finish. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> yeah. So I've obviously passed for the rest. Yeah, I'll spend two. He's got a big move. How many do I do? No, I don't. Oh. This guy cost one less because of another trooper. Oh yeah, yeah. Volunteer soldier raid one. I'll take this and ping both your bases. Yeah. Oh. Pew pew. Get her. First get her. <laughs> <laughs> Enemy number one. I didn't actually attack you. Yeah, the, oh, the, I felt the, like you got first. Forced. Uh. It was so Kyle's turn. You. <laughs> so your last. If you have other things to do, just go nuts. Um, otherwise, take the initiative. I guess. Yeah, Can take, I just look what he does? I'll take initiative. You, All right. You've dealt three or more damage to an enemy's base. This phase, draw a card. Okay. So now we're in regroup. Draw two cards. At the end of regroup, so this happens, right? Yeah. Start of the next action phase. Oh right, regroup is not part of. Okay. This is very challenging. I gotta say. Okay, so now I do this? Yeah, so now you do the Han Solo, like, pick any resource you want, doesn't matter, uh, or it may matter, I don't know what cards you have in your deck, if it, it matters, in. What's, it just goes in your discard pile, discard. then the others go back face down. I guess if you can pull cards in your discard pile too, it could matter. Yeah. Especially in this one, right, when you only have one-off cards? Mm. Bob, since your leaders are in all black leather, couldn't get into character? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, so then we can put this back. And then it's to you. Your first, Kyle. <laughs> I'm just going to just got a shield. Yeah. Doesn't have it. He's fine, don't worry about it. But he is an action to give experience to against another friendly unit. Yeah, he doesn't do anything for himself. So nobody's out there. He could anymore. attack you for one. Sure, I'll attack. Very dangerous. Uh, Mel's base? Why? Who? Who are you attacking with? This guy. So on attack, so exhaust them, then yeah, on right. attack. 
Another friendly red unit gains raid too. There's no other friendly oh, red unit. Oh, it's not red. Oh! You wanna go the other way? Or play something first that's red and then do him later? Well, he'd have to be ready, but yeah. Hmm. Or not. Never mind. I mean, you're double red deck. I mean, you must have a lot of red units. Friend. You showed your cards early. Which right? cards? You were coming Both after cards? Yeah, yeah. No, I, first attack. Honestly, I just was like, one, one. Oh, you got nothing. Yeah, that's oh, right. Okay. She's the highest health. Get her. I didn't want to attack you with this guy. Get her for the rest of the game. <laughs> she has the highest health. Rob's going to take advantage of this. You know that. <laughs> I don't even have any ground units. I'm weak. Yeah. I'm feeble. Until you, uh, I'm you not a threat to anyone. Fill your space arena. <laughs> And it's out of control. Sure. No, attack your base for three. What? Because of raid one. Raid one, yep. yep. As long as it's attacking. Okay. Mill. I will spend two for Sabine. Oh, no. I will... Mm. Oh man. I'll just play. Come on. No, he's looking at my board more. You choose choose and defeat a unit. Power Ooh. the dark side. God. What did I do to you? I just do? need to get her ability to work. Mm hmm so I have to be the unit. Why can't it be his? You guys don't have space units for me to run into, so... My turn, right? Yeah. It'll be his next time, okay, don't worry. I'll do Cassian's thing, because I did three damage. Mm hmm will use draw a card. Okay, Cassian draw, nice, nice. Oh, shield to a friendly heroic unit, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, heal one from my base. Get him, he's got no health, Kyle, get him! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll do... Sean says Luke Leia is my favorite twin sons combo. Dude, nice, I'm... nice. I'm doing oh, I'll hope I do it justice for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These two are ganging Where's up Leia? on me, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, you turn well. Hmm. How are we ganging up on you? He attacked me and you removed my character. I did, I You've done hit... nothing to each okay, other. You had zero. <laughs> That's... And I just needed to add three to someone. <laughs> See, here's the problem Mel did something completely wrong, probably about. Two days ago? 45 minutes ago? <laughs> by coming here and reminding us <laughs> how she went undefeated at a tournament on Sunday. And I she's so great ago. and yeah. so amazing with Leia and can crush anyone. And we should all bow and lick her boots. Uh, <laughs> so did that... I beat you last week, though? I beat you last week. With some no. help. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> Wait, the week before you didn't, right? That was the week where you beat me at, like both yeah, times yeah. and then you couldn't beat her. The last, last, last week, week you could? Yeah, the two of you combined. I forget, it. man. They all blend together. That's what I'm saying. That was the long ago. Combined. With yeah, yeah. We had to play. Yeah, yeah. We had to team up and play against her. I think it's my turn. Okay, I. That was am... foreshadowing for today. Yeah. <laughs> what, what card you got over there? Play that one. Get her. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I healed. I'm gonna ping yeah, both your bases. Right. Oh what? no! Again? She's yeah. out for the turn. Oh, okay. Man. Okay. Okay. Um. I'll hit Kyle's base for two. <laughs> I don't know. You had less or more health. I, I had to do it. That just made sense. Three for Ezra. Okay, oh, Ezra Bridger. A all right, all right. Um, I guess I'll take the point. Well, maybe I should take. Yeah, I'll take the planing. Draw one. And I'll put it on the bottom. Go ahead. It's you for the rest of the round. Just do all your stuff. Sure. Unopposed. Attack your base for three because you got raid or. Oh no, he, he no, doesn't raid. No, never raid. It's two. So it's two? Okay. Anything else? No. Assuming you'll take the initiative. Yeah, I'll take initiative. Pass, sure. draw two cards, whatever. Hmm. Resource. That's six. What am I doing here? Okay. I'll just do this thing. Okay. 
Ready up. You're doing your card blowing up thing? Yeah, I just yeah. Gotta, okay. yeah, yeah. Got to make a habit of... Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, I sorry. I should have done it after I put the card in. Yeah, yeah. What I meant to do. Absolutely should have, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's after all the regroup stuff's done, you've readied cards up, then you destroy the card. Yeah. Just one, two, three, four. Yeah, Kyle's never played a Han before, so he might do things a little weird. I was trying to tell him before stream, like, when the timing is. It's a little weird to get used to. I, I've never played Han yet either, so I might not catch it, but yeah. just did it out of order there, but... You're the point good. is I'm doing it. Yeah, you're good, you're good. <laughs> you're doing it. I'm still doing it. That's all that matters. Um, uh, F, D, S, F, G, S, 7, 1, 2, 5. <laughs> Easy username. Just rolls right off the tongue. <laughs> Love it. Glad you creatively picked that name. Um, glad you smashed your keyboard with both 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 <laughs> palms when you picked that name. Uh, says, hey, Rob, do you think you might play some Kings of Ruin? Uh, probably. Probably. No, no I promises. Don't... No promises. Did we get it? Not yet. I don't know. No, no. But did we pre-order it? I think it? so. I I'm pretty sure we did. I don't know if I'll play it on stream, though. But, like, just, yeah, don't hold me to it. But, yeah, the intention is yes. When that will be, uh, I can't give an answer. Can you remind me what Ezra does? Um, Just when it, I look at the... Some of these cards I don't know. Yeah, I look at the top card and... Uh, once you make a piece of tap, look at the top card of your deck, you may play it, discard it, or leave. Oh, okay, okay. Very good card. Yeah. So, attack Rob with three base. Oh, what the hell, man? Just so I can do that. Uh, I can play it. Like, play it now? If you want to, you have to pay you for have it, pay though. For it, but yeah, you can play That's it. why he's so good, like, getting extra resources and stuff. Sure. Oh, play it. like, gives you a lot better odds to play stuff. So I should play it, but. Oh. Uh, uh, read, read the card again. Oh, ready. R RTFC? Jeez, RTFC? How's yeah. going to win here? Like, look at his board. What is happening? I uh, know. We got to do something about it. What is happening? Let's team up and break them down. It's my turn. Yep. Or don't upset me. <laughs> <laughs> don't poke uh, the bear. Oh, General Dazana. Yeah. All right. Um. Uh, I'll play the tie advance. Uh, I'll give two experience tokens to another Imperial unit. Okay, Kyle, your turn. What is this? When that defeated, I get to look at the top two cards in my deck. Same thing as the on played that I did. <laughs> Taterhole620 says, I win the name game. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> what is happening? Smash his keyboard some more. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay, okay no, no. I was going to say, I just think up your reading. I can get distracted easily. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, what was turn? Nope, no, I was thinking. thinking. Take your time. Take your time. Thinking and overthinking. Let's so start smashing stuff. Play things. What's all it? good. Let's try to do your leader abilities. Four. Oh, yeah. It's a four or five. Oh, what's your deploying turn for your leaders? That's another thing. I don't know them all, uh, so I won't be able to remind you. Was this six? Was he a six? Six and five. Six and five. I'm a six and a seven. So let's keep that in mind. Whenever you control that many resources, Kyle. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> okay. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I'm going to regret this. It is what it is. Okay, so you did Han's ability. Okay, Mel. I will attack. Oh, I did three on you, right? On Rob, yes. I did a three on your base? Yeah. Right with this? Okay, I need to do like this to remind myself. But no, 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 no. The purple one. The purple, one. the purple. That one, one. that, that one means you, you can't right, deploy right, him right. anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll just, I gotta. I mean, you could put that on him. I'm okay with that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, let's attack here for three, and then I'll ping your base for one. And then... My base? Yep. What the... F and then that'll remove the shields. What the f... Oh. This guy has the wall oh, of the dudes even. over here. That was all I you could told do. her at the beginning that she could do that. I was like... <laughs> it's even. Even. It's like even. one of your cell things. Yeah, yeah. So, 
Again, when I talk about how Twin Suns is cool, uh, yeah, on attack, you may deal one damage to the defender or to a base. So in Twin Suns, you could hit a base that's not necessarily the same base as the player who controls the defender, which is interesting. Uh, so lots of cool interactions like that. So read even cards you play with a hundred times in other formats. Read them again when you're playing Twin Suns. Like they might have more use and more flexibility than you, you think, which is really clever. Your turn. My turn. Like Mel, you could use that card to piss off two players at once. When normally in two player format, you only piss off one player with her. Yep. Uh, with Sabine. Which I was is just cool. spreading it out so nobody can say I'm. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Favoritism. Favoritism. He doesn't have yep. any any guys there. So. All right. Uh. Four damage to Mel's base. Sure. That's the that's what you get for that ping. Oh yeah. <laughs> Four for one. Four for one. That's the <laughs> trades around here. That's the exchange rate All right. for hitting my base. Oh yeah, this is not here anymore. Oh, I really thought you were gonna talk at me. Um No, he's letting your Millennium Falcon run wild. Oh so I'm that one return a friendly non unit non leader unit to So that team. you have to actually return Someone on your side, and it can be that guy. I don't know why you would do that then, but no, I'm just gonna bring this guy back. Yeah, one cost guy. Yeah, there are guys in your deck that probably have like come into play effects. Just comes in exhausted. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. it's not a Millennium Falcon, man. Well, mm, take initiative. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. You got guys only oh, play or defeated. Was yep. someone defeated? Yep. You you defeated someone, right? Mm -hmm. I'll uh, heal one from my base. Kyle, your turn. Mm. I'll draw a card. Did you spend the resource there? Oh yeah, cost money, bro. Does cost. I'll put that back. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. No free card draw around here, bro. Mm. Okay, I will. Um... Coming after my spaceships, bro. Coming after my spaceships. I'll attack the little guy. This one yeah. or this one? The little one. Well, the one with only two health. Oh, okay. Uh, my tie advance. Yeah. Can I tell you something that you, you get hit back for there? three though? Yeah. But. You should have done that first, then return this guy back to your hand. Then next turn he's going to come in. He can it. return it back to hand by just not paying for it. I guess. It. Yeah. So true. It, I guess I don't, you don't need to do that. Yet. But then I want to. So then three damage have, on it. Yeah, I guess. Well, I should have done that. Because then I wouldn't have got rid of a, a readied guy. Yeah. Yeah, sure that was weird. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. That's, that's okay. Weird. But maybe you're just trying to make yourself appear weaker and <laughs> yeah, not yeah. as strong anymore. You're like, quick, yep. hide the army. Yep. Yep. <laughs> hide the giant army. It got too big too fast. Uh, all right. I will. Let's go with a blast. Pew, pew. One damage to each base. Make it seem like so it. So Kyle's your turn. <laughs> Finish her up. Mel and I have passed. Trail the planning. So draw a card and then any card in your hand you put it on the bottom of your deck. Okay. And then we draw two cards. Resource. Ready everything. And then Kyle, at the start of the next phase, you then do your oh buddy. Going to five. Tough. All right, card in. Now I'm going to put a card out. Put a card in, put a card out. Turn it all about. Yep. yep. <laughs> okay. Um, and this thing's got to go back land. Unless you pay for, pay it. for it. You could, like, pay you could have paid for it with the one that was destroyed. The one that I took. What? Yes, you could. Again. So oh, yes. Again. Draw, yeah. Yeah, resource, yeah, yeah. ready, pay for this if you want, then destroy the card for him. That's the order of things. So you can do that now. But I'm, just... I'm like, so we can just say you did, unless you didn't want to, and have it come back to hand. 
So I'm, you still destroy it after, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was all but you would have paid for it. Paid Paying for it with the same card, then yeah, 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 and then destroy yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's why I'm keeping it in. Okay, yeah. perfect. All right. Uh, back to the middle. Back to the middle. Your planning token. Mm. Okay, mouse first. Uh oh. Oh, but I couldn't have. I didn't have a card standing, so I couldn't have actually paid. No, but you. No, no. You okay. Oh yeah. Draw two ready, resource ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. I see. Yes. <laughs> pay. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, destroy. Could, yes. Yes. Got it. it. Okay. I know it's very weird, but like, just go with the flow of the game slowly. You know. Yeah. Definitely, you gotta ready him. Wake up. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Let's do a. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do all ones. Doesn't count. What am I doing here? <laughs> uh, let's attack Rob's base for four, and then let's attack Kyle's base for a full four. Very full even. Four. Yeah, because it's uh, two, three, four. and then that on the back. Oh, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> they freaking thwarted them for Just you. Take away a one. Five. Take should be at one nine. One. Should be at nine. What? Just take away one one. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm just. <laughs> I got it. I'm just organized. Nine. Here. Should be at nine. Got it. Okay, so that was fully end. even. Four on each base. Uh, it doesn't feel even. Well, four went on yeah, both yeah. bases. All right. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm bleeding here. the most over here. <laughs> uh, all right, my turn. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go. Hmm. I'll spend three. I'll play this guy. A big scary ground unit. Go ahead, Kyle. Super laser technician. It's come to fix my command center. And use the super laser button. I'll spend three waylay to that spaceship. This one? Yeah. <laughs> Piece of <shit>. <laughs> Back <laughs> to my hand it goes. Mm. Oh my god. My turn. It's a little overpowered with the 5-5 five five here. Don't worry about this Millennium mm -hmm. Falcon. I'm not worried about it. I'm going to take care of it. Can I use it first? Nope. Not after what you just did. Why not? I'm gonna take this. Why? <laughs> I wanted that, but uh, it was ready already. You didn't, yeah, yeah, you didn't yes, use it. Yeah. Okay. So Mel just played traitorous. <laughs> so your pirated starfighter <laughs> just betrayed you, and is now working. I wanted that ship, but you got rid of it. I was like, no. Could have oh. like, sent me some. But signals. I didn't know that's what you, you were could have do. said. You can I, talk about the stuff, well, but then yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Sorry. Because you were next, then I'm gonna, yeah. to put I'm gonna spend one and do Darth Vader's action. Uh, I'll ping that for one, <laughs> and I'll ping your base for one. Sure. Kyle? Hi, Greg. No, I, I was going to attack my own ship. You were going to attack your own ship? <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> I wanted to attack no, my own it's, ship. It's safe flying out in space now. <laughs> um, should have said it earlier. If you were going to run into it and kill it, I would have been fine with that. <laughs> I wanted to use the ping to kill him, so he became a resource. But no, you had to be aggressive against my little tiny spaceship. <laughs> my turn? Yep. Mm -hmm. My turn. My turn. Um, I need a card. Um, I guess I'll do there. I'll attack this guy for you. Really? No, yeah. you don't care about her little wall of dudes? No, I'll just I'll he, help you. He kill oh, okay, thanks. Yeah. So I get a reason. Back with one? Uh, two. It's for two. Yep. <laughs> help me out. 
<laughs> he just didn't want him resource. to die, probably. I gave you a resource. Oh, yeah, because they both would kill him. Uh, <laughs> no, no, she wouldn't, right? Uh, Only the one attack. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whatever. It helped you out. Okay, okay sure, yeah. That helped me. Thing. That's great. Thanks. Oh. Look at the top card. Oh, and you may play it mm, or something. Play it. Play it, discard it, or leave it on top. Sure, I'll play it. Put two exhausts an enemy unit. Sure, exhaust that one. Was it? Asteroid, Asteroid Sanctuary? Yeah. Well, then I mean, you can put a shield on him, probably. Yeah. Three less. Okay. Well, that was rude. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Smell guy. Pull the stand down. Stand down. <laughs> I'll take initiative. Okay. I'll heal one from my base. Oh, can I rewind? Sorry, 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 sorry. Can you go back? What? Back I, to I, where? Forgot, I forgot something. Back to my turn? No, just How unheal the going? base. I just want to bring my leader. I forgot. Oh. Sorry. Now go ahead. I didn't take. Wow. Wow. What? All right. Uh, I'll heal one from my base. It didn't change a single thing. I didn't see any new information. Yeah, I could have taken a token or done something, and I showed you that I wanted to do that action, and then you uh, you changed it. That's all good. I forget sometimes too when I'm playing with leaders I'm not used to. But you've played with Leia four hundred times, so no excuse. Because in my head, I was doing something else before bringing mm -hmm. her out, and he threw me off by exhausting it. So I'm like, oh, I got nothing. My turn, turn. Eh? Yep. Yep. No. Nope. Mm. Come on, man, do something. I know. I'm sorry. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. My base or his base? Same health. He's got a dude. I don't have dudes. My leaders are exhausted. Oh, base or base? Or are you going to attack my guy? You won't. Yeah. No, I'll attack your base for four. Is it a full four? Full or four. Full, full, full four, four this time? Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, Mel? That was me. So you. you I have oh, you attack. already, yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah. I see. Uh, my turn. I will play Surprise Infernal Four again. Okay, I will put this one on top, this one on the bottom. Kyle? Is it deploy leader time? I think both come out. Yeah, you could. Oh, I just don't know. It's an action to do it. Pull your leader, ready him up, and then next player's action. Okay, Cassian's on the table. I'll take initiative now. I'll take initiative. Uh, okay. I will deploy Aiden. She comes into play shielded. So I control six resources. Thanks for that, Kyle. No problem. Just remember. <laughs> I am remembering. Okay. I appreciate it. I'll attack now. I'll attack your base. Or how much? Uh, four. And when you deal damage to an enemy base, you may draw a card, use its ability only once each round. Yeah. And that's different than this ability, like yeah, you yeah, could yeah. use that too on the same turn when you draw a card. Okay. And my turn. Um, I will... Hit Mel's base for four. Kyle? You want to play Han? Does he come out too? Yeah, he can. I mean, why not? Yes. Geared in. Uh, I will take... Uh, a blast. Damage, damage. Your turn. So I'll attack your base. Four. 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 Thirteen. Anything else? Oh, on attack, put the top card of your deck into play as a resource and ready it. Uh, do I have to do that? Mm -hmm. Is it like a requirement? 
I don't know. I think on attacks are optional, but I could be wrong. There's no point in me doing it. I would uh, it's not good. forced. I don't know. Does Kyle have to do this? I don't think so, right? But maybe he does. Put the top card of your deck into play as a resource ready at the start of the next action phase to feed a resource you control. Do you know what the top card of your deck is? No, but I'd be getting rid of a card that if I don't have to, then I'd rather not. But why does but it, it matter? In, because it... I won't be able to use it. It'll just go in as a resource. Yeah. And then it's going to stay a resource. Yeah, but it helps you. No, then it gets destroyed at the start. Yeah, just like the other one. But you you gain a so? resource because you did. But it I twice. can't use the resource right now. So no, I know. Don't tell but you're, you're ahead now. <laughs> you're ahead on resources though because you did, did it twice, but you only have to get rid of one. So you're mm -hmm. one up on resources. Would I? Because you only have to get rid of one. No, but don't I? Still no, have, he has to get rid of both. Yes. Oh, he has to get rid of yeah, both. Yeah, yes, he he hasn't finished the effect. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I think wow. so. Has to. Okay, sure. Yeah, I think you have to, and then I would just put like another token reminder. You have to get rid of two. Oh wow. Yeah, it doesn't say you may, so I'm assuming it just happens. Which right. is like 99% of the time, you're always going to want that. Like, it's no reason why not to you. Well, this... Yeah, and especially it, in a, in if this... it was like the start of like the attack rounds, then yeah, sure. Yeah. But now that we're at the end, like it's pointless. Especially if I know I can't afford it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. But just do it. It's fine. Get in the habit of it so you don't forget it. Done. Okay. Uh, are you you're taking, taking planning, I assume? Oh, yeah, because you're... Yeah. Planning. I'm so draw a card, and then put one of the cards in your hand on the bottom of your deck. And then regroup. Draw two. Resource something if you want. You don't have to. And then ready everything up. And then do your Han stuff. I got that. That's I'm going to seven. All right, Mel. When are you getting at? Oh, it's... oh yeah. Oh, this is the one I want. Sorry. Go ahead. Take your time. I'm thinking. I should have reason. Did the same thing again. <laughs> it's okay. Draw to resource. Ready everything up. And blow up resources for you. Yeah, I know. But you don't have to resource. And remember, you have this guy that can help you get more. So, like, if you love what's in your hand, no, you but can he, play it. He helps me only... Temporarily. Oh, it's on attack though. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. gonna come from here, yeah, not yeah, from not your hand here. anymore. Okay. So oh, it's great. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Good? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll attack with Leia first. She's gonna attack for three, four, five. Uh here. And then we'll attack with Dodonna for four here. Mm. Feeling pretty hurt over here. I think we're all about the same. Me and you are tied, so. <laughs> trying to be neutral. <laughs> I'm just trying to get you up so we're all the same. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Seven, I have. All right, let's spend three, play a disabling fang fighter, and discard an upgrade. It comes back to me. Ready? Yep. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. We're now even. <laughs> <laughs> My debt has been paid. <laughs> oh yeah, you like that better than the one that Falcon he stole from you? Uh, <laughs> I just pinged it. I just yeah, scratched yeah, yeah. it. You did. I scratched but... its gas cap and it blew up. How's that my fault? Fun out of control. Uh, I just scratched it with my lightsaber, <laughs> flew it in the air with Darth Vader, just scratched the gas cap and it blew up. I, it's the piece of junk. What can I say? Mm, now I'll attack your base for four. 
actually. Mm. Right. Ambush? No. Oh, so you need to fix something? No, I just, this guy's saying when you deal damage, that, that triggers now anyway, right? Even though he didn't do it? When you deal damage to an enemy yeah. base, yep. draw a card. Yeah, bit. Okay. And then you just yeah. put a purple thing on him to remind you. That's two. Mm. Let's attack here with the ambush. Uh, that's a ground unit. Oh shoot! Uh oh shoot! Sorry, I just thought it was a qualified. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I told you, forget that one. Oh yeah, you're gosh. not the first. I've seen people mess that up at tournaments. It looks like too. a spaceship. To yeah, me. that tells you you don't know Star Wars. Busted. <laughs> like oh, okay. Two feet off the ground. Yeah, that's a and snow speeder. What have you got going on? It says four damage or something. Mm, let's deal <laughs> four damage to Han Solo. So it takes four back? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, and then, sorry, when played, I may return a unit that costs one or, or two or less from my discard pile to my hand. You know, oh, okay. What? Sorry. That's fine. Okay. I could choose, no? Yes, that's fine. That's why I said that's fine. Okay. Okay. I was just making sure I did it right. Uh, my turn? Yeah. Taking that shield off of Iden. How am I going to do that? Mm. Gotta get rid of this guy. There's... Oh, yeah, this is a rebel. Yeah, I know. Everything oh, is look, like. Oh, put it down one more damage. Sorry. Yeah. To, uh, cause he's a rebel. Yeah, this guy's buffing up everything there, health and attack. It's like way too strong. I'm going to run into this guy, breaking my shield. And uh, when I keep, I might have forgotten this before, but that's fine. Uh, when enemy is defeated, heal one from my base. Okay, I'll um, attack your base for four. Whose base? My base? Your base, yeah. 20, holy. Kyle, I will attack your base for three. Hmm. Come on. No, oh, it's cleaner, I'm man. Making it fair. Yeah, make it clean so people watching at home can quickly math. For what? Three. What are you doing? Oh, now you're running. Oh, I wasn't doing her damage. I was just cleaning up your fives. Again. <laughs> <laughs> what if I heal? Then, <laughs> it's two seconds it takes. Right. Fine. Clean her up. All right. Uh, let's see. Don't kill me. That's okay. Um, Is your base for two? Come on. <laughs> you just smashed mine. Fine. You just smashed me. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're the recipient of whatever that is. Okay. No. <laughs> uh, force surrender. So I'll draw two cards, and each opponent whose base you've dealt damage this phase, which is both of you, discards two cards from their hands. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. I'm okay with that. No. And then my turn. No. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> this is so rough. Oh, no. No, I can't. I want to see what he discards here. <laughs> I have this funny play coming up next round, and it mm. needs to happen. I guess I'll just let me get it. So Palpatine and oh. Consortium Star Viper, which okay. I want to play this turn, but not happening. Uh, so for the lulls, I've made choices for the lulls. On the play, Luke? I just want to play that event. But I was like, this seems fun. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a while to kick off, but. I'll deploy Vader. Kyle. 
We'll just attack, attack her. Sure. For three? three. So she takes three damage. You she take three. three damage, but it just knocks the shield off. Okay. And then you get to do that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do zero cost. So you can leave it where it is or discard it? Actually. Okay. I'll attack Rob's base for four. And then on attack, I will give. And guy shield. Hmm. Hmm. I'll attack uh, Sabine for, no, maybe not. I think I'll definitely do this, keep him alive. I'm going to say YOLO. Hmm. Hmm. I got the shield now. Oh man. I'll attack Luke for five. But on attack before the damage is dealt, I will deal two damage. Have you already taken initiative? Mm -mm, I just had it. Oh, okay. I'll do two damage to. Oh, I guess I could do this like until someone takes it again, right? Mm -hmm. No, no, you leave it up until it's taken, then oh, you flip, then it you flip it. it. Oh, okay. To okay. show it's not available anymore. Okay. Uh, two on attack. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do it to him. What? No, okay. let's do it to here. Two damage, two damage. With his on attack. Here. Okay, and yeah, then he four. takes four back. Alright, uh -huh. Kyle, go ahead. So he's a death thing. Thank Kyle. Will they trade? Yep. On defeat. I'll put this one on the bottom. This one on top. I'll take initiative. Okay, I will uh, take the blast. Ping, ping. Ping, ping. Is that your only card? <laughs> yeah, oh. Put on, oh. <laughs> was, like, was it? You have to put one of those on the bottom of your deck. Yeah. Um. Oh, Rob, heal one from Kyle's ship dying? Oh, thank you. Yes. I uh, know. I was trying to get that. I was trying to think of a way to do like a whole bunch of kills to heal a lot, but. I couldn't, I would just be taking out weak units and like then leaving all the big guys to still smash me back. So I don't know. We'll see if it pays off. I'm not sure. All right. So now let's see if Kyle for the, how many times we've we done this today? Let's see if we can get it right. Okay. Planning. We are uh, regroup phase. Draw two. Yeah, yeah. We got it. Resource one if you want. I'll go to eight. Would have loved to go to eight to play Palpatine. Would have been awesome, but uh, not happening. Not happening. Ready up, and then you blow up your resource. Okay, and then he's to the middle. Remember, once one person's base is defeated by hitting thirty, 
that signals the, it's the last round. So if you want to go more, don't finish someone off. But again, you get a free five heal. You're the one to knock someone out. We're all getting close. I have 23, so seven remaining. Mel is seven remaining. 24. Kyle is yeah. six remaining. Blood is in the water. All right, Mel, you go first. Mm -hmm. And probably just wins right here. Stupid. Well, Leia will attack first for three, four, five, six. And then finish Kyle. And then you attack with Can't your attack. other guy. Oh, only four. Yeah. Sorry, Kyle. I but I mean, six? Six, yeah. Yeah. So Kyle gets knocked out. Uh, oh, so all this stuff's gone, and he's out. Should have gone. And, then... and you heal five. Oh yeah. For knocking him out. Yeah, I should have taken initiative. I know I wanted it I so bad. Like, I, I should have done it. At that last air battle was pointless. Well, that's what I thought. I know. I didn't know why you did that. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I yeah. Then okay. Then I will use uh, Luke to attack your base, Rob, for four. Okay. Yeah, don't know if I can. Yeah, the problem is that shield. Uh, no, that doesn't work. Well, YOLO. I, I, for the lulls, I want. I should have done this last round, but it lost me in the game, I think. But uh, I'll do bombing run, choose an arena, ground, or space. I'll choose ground and deal three damage to every unit in that arena. Okay, so it takes this one, this one. How many are being defeated, please? Uh, one, two, Three, oh, two, because these guys don't get defeated, right? Or yeah, it's defeated. And then this guy just loses. How many? Four. Sorry, four, thank you. And then this guy loses his shield. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Comes shot. Wish it didn't take Kylo either, because I would have got a couple more off that too. Trying to line it up. <laughs> Mel, assert your dominance by yawning while you kill Rob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish you didn't do that. I had to, like, or I lose because I could only, even with him, the shield on here, I could knock it off, but then you just hit for four and I lose. So I, ha I had to do that. That's my YOLO. Yeah, so my bombing run, like, in the first hand. I, resource I held it the whole time, and that's why I didn't want to discard anything, because I had, like, a card to play there to heal, and then the bombing run was mm -hmm. next turn. I should have just bombing run last turn. That's just a resource mine. I was like, I'm not going to get there. That's why I was playing space units at the beginning. I was going to try to do as fast <laughs> as I could, just to show you guys, like, look, I'm bombing everything. Even hitting my own stuff. Mm -hmm. That's why I was like, I was going to wait to deploy my leaders, too. But then I, I kept holding it, and I shouldn't have. I should have did it earlier. No, I think you got it, actually. That might have been the win. Unless... You have how many cards in hand? One? Yep. Well, I gotta do this then, I think. Did you already heal five? Yeah. Oh. So... I don't know. Sorry, I'm just thinking this out. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, I think he wins. I think he wins. Who knows? No matter what I do. No sentinels. I know. I, I, where are the sentinels? I don't know if I have any in my deck. I saw one, but I was. I think they're really good. That wasn't maybe the play I should have done. All right. Okay. Um. Well, we could do a second one if you. Uh... Sorry, this is just I. It... What are your options? Attack here. Attack here. Attack here. Maybe play cards. You have cards in hand. You have resources up. Yeah. So I don't know how many options you have to choose from. 
You want to roll a die? No. Will that help? Doing, Come on, man. I'm doing math in my head. Oh, okay. I'm just joking. Take your time. Remember, 50% of the game was what was before this round. Now this round's going to take another, like, hour. <laughs> the most you can do is what? Five? <laughs> Minya says, I want to try a four. Chewy Twin Suns deck for consistent Sentinel. Yeah, Sentinel, I feel like, in this mode is, like, really good. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, just attack. No, I still win. I'll attack Vader. Vader for four? Yep. So they hit each other and... I think you win. Yeah, I thought you won too, but things change. All right. Um, so I will heal one for my base for mm -hmm. your being defeated. Well, maybe she's who I should have taken out, actually. Yeah, I guess I'll hit your base for four. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got nothing. Well, I'll hit your base for three. Dang, yep. You can just put a five. Oh, so yeah. Oh, sorry, like I already passed. I don't know what you do in the last round. Um, you already passed? Yeah, because I got nothing. And you you took it. initiative? No, but in the last round, do you take initiative in this? Because there's no other round, so I'm just yeah, done, true. right? I'm just, just passing. That one. I see what you're saying. Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess I could take that. Yeah, you could blast my base. Okay, sure. I didn't realize. Yeah, of course. Okay, sorry. I don't know what you're asking. Yeah, there you go. Okay, and then for three, I'll give this unit minus two, minus two, and then heal two damage from my base. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, and the minus two will defeat him. <laughs> but no, only when enemy defeat him. <laughs> That was funny. my bad. I should have taken both actions actually to beat you. Like to take you out with the Leia and then maybe I could have had you. I thought you had me for sure because it's so many units and the shield and the health difference. But, the... but the, who you exhausted is what gave you trouble. You left it... I don't know. No, you had to do Leia first because she does the trigger. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. Alright, GG's. I lost my speed. In the second half of the game. Chewy Han is fun. Have Han ramped play. for Chewy. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. If you didn't do that bombing. You want to play again? I would have yeah. had this one. You want to play again? Sure. You guys want to watch us play again? Let's do it. It's fun, though, right? Yeah. So now you've seen it can go like we could have went many more rounds if like there was some Sentinel or we didn't attack bases so hard and just attack boards or yeah. play a little defensively political, right? Like not just attack mid so aggressive. And even that round, if you didn't attack him and knock him out, and then he played like a sentinel, somehow stayed alive, I healed, and none of us finished you, like, we go to another round, which is, like, so crazy to think. Yeah. But I think, yeah, with your heal, like, knocking you out first is probably a better option. Yeah, yeah. But you didn't know I had bombing run, then I'm going to no. heal a whole bunch like that. No. And if he was still in the game and you didn't kill him, I actually would have healed even more. So I, yeah. I think killing yeah. him actually hurt me and hurt my heal. Uh, but yeah, that's all good. Who knows? Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah. Greg says yes! Nice. Yeah, I love this format. I freaking love it. Kyle, what do you think so far? Enjoy it. Fun, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like how it's still quick. Like, even though we're playing, like, the multiplayer and you get a little talky and, like, turns aren't as fast. It doesn't go that long, I find. Which I like. Well, because the turns don't go long in general when you're playing one versus exactly, one. Exactly, like, so it's a quicker like, yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that once somebody gets like close to their base health, then it's like you start like getting worried. Like, it's gonna be the last round. What cards do I keep? What do I resource? Do I keep this card? Yeah, I think so. If it was a restore, that was the problem. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who knows though, right? Yeah, but I also had another card, the one that I could have given to experience and a shield. And if I had a force unit, I could attack. Oh, I the had, force was with me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had force units out. Because you could have done that on Leia. No, yeah, you could have done that on Leia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get her to do the attack, and then you attack with her. Well, I, yeah, but yeah, but I wanted to buff her. Oh, she would have been buffed. She gets too. buffed, and yeah. then I could have. Oh, yeah, yeah. So then I should have done the fleet lieutenant. But does later. she get to attack if she? Who, if she what is, do you need a force unit? I just need for? to control a force unit, and then they get to attack. Oh, okay. Or okay. something instead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I had that as well. So I'm like, oh, I think I can do this. But then when you did that bombing run, yeah. What do you, what do you oh, think? Oh, if you control a force unit, also give it a shield, you may attack with a chosen unit. Yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't have to be yeah. on a force user, you just have to have one. But I didn't think that you were going to be able to take away all my units, and I'm like, oh, okay, well. That's why I hit Luke the last turn, was like, 
if I'm going to lose my dudes, I got to just take you down. I was debating hitting like Cassian, so he made sure he died. But his Vader ping would only have done two to him, and he would have still lived, I think. So that's mm -hmm. why I was like, I'll hit the ship so the ship dies if he fights my ship. Because all I need to do is have space units left after I wiped all of our ground units. That was my yeah. whole game from the beginning. Every card I kept was a spaceship, just for fun. I was like, I'm just doing this as a fun strategy of like not playing ground units. I just played my leaders too early, and I should have bombing around the turn earlier, but... But yeah, when I saw a bombing run right at the beginning of the game, I held it like from the first six cards I saw. I was like, I want to do this in this game because I'm going to hit everyone's board. It'll be hilarious. I thought you were also going to kill Leia. Balar Margulis. With, with Vader. Wait, especially once he damaged Leia. No, because I knew I could bombing run and blow her up. Oh. So it's mm. funnier. I wanted more. Like, yeah, yeah, when yeah. you guys started fighting each other and killing each other's units, or no, she was killing your units. I was like, come on, stop. I want you guys <laughs> to have a ton of units on both sides. And then I just like, boom, bombing run that. and kill him. You could have said that. But it, yeah, it's like, I don't know. I don't That's not too much, Mel. Yeah, I know, right? It was fun. I have to mulligan this, but I like some of these cards. Yeah, yeah, cut me, cut me. Who's got you? <sighs> oh, yeah, let's roll and find out who. Where's my die? Oh, right there. Six, uh, four, five. Uh, I'll take an issue, I guess. Oh. Let's see what fun we get in our hand today. Were you holding bombing run like half the game then? No, I said right from the oh. first card. Six yeah. first card oh, okay. I had bombing run. And I was like trying to look for cards that were like fun. Like I was like, this will be fun if I can get this off. And I had two spaceships. And I was like, all right, I'll keep the spaceships. I put, I resourced Vader oh. uh, just for the lulls. Like everything I was resourcing was like just to make that happen. Just for fun. Is that why you're mad about discarding the spaceship? Yeah, well? because I want to. Yeah, I want to play heal? a spaceship. <laughs> and and the problem is, I had bombing run, and I was like, this turn I could bombing run, or play two spaceships. I should have just bombing run, but I was I played a spaceship instead, and then I have enough resources for bombing run. And then you made me discard, so I was like, no, I get two uh, spaceships. Though, I'll bombing run next turn at the start. Let you play more stuff. So yeah, it sucked. But whatever. Whatever. I put too much effort into trying to play that card too. Oh my Sticky. god, this is even worse than before. Okay. Hmm. Valar Mogulis. All men in the ground arena must die. Oh, I gotta think really far ahead with this. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. All right. I will start by playing General Tag. When played, give an experience token to each of up to three trooper units. <laughs> So see, this kind of card I could use as a bargaining chip if I play it later. Oh, I can give him an experience token on it. Yo, don't attack me. I'll give you experience tokens. You attack her base. like Especially in the last round of the game where it's like, I, I might lose, but I'm going to buff your guys to help them finish you and all this kind of stuff like we could do. Or like, I'll buff your stuff if you take care of that ship I need and I won't attack this. And like, yeah, if, if you, you like get really used to it, I can see if this is like your only format, like... Yeah. The wacky tabacky stuff you could do in this in this format and the like the way you would evaluate cards when they're like spoiled or when you open a pack, it's like so different versus the regular formats. Or this premier format or whatever. I'll just ping both your bases. Come on. Oh, that's how it's starting. Get her. <laughs> Enemy number one. Uh I will Maybe I should have drawn the card, but that's okay. Thing is funnier. Mm. I'll just take initiative. Sure. So I'm still going? Yep. yep. Yeah, we're both out. We got tokens. One last. Group. Yep, yep. Okay. Very nice. Two units wow. in the first turn. Planning. Draw. Wait, wait. This is put one at the bottom, right? Yeah, yeah. Out of all your hand cards, like it doesn't have to be the one you drew, but it can be the one you drew. Let's 
Fuck. Stuff. Okay, it's this thing. Matters. We good? Mm, almost. I gotta put a resource card. No, no, you should have already done that if you destroyed one. What? Oh, he just. Come on, man! You're doing the wrong order. I know, but you gotta destroy. You gotta play a resource oh. first. And then, yeah. Yeah, you. But it's just really like. I don't see me ever drawing from the discard, so it's like a... I, there really are matter. stuff that it can play out of the discard. Um, so yeah, like Mel did one already, right? Or grab yeah. from the discard. Yeah. But I, I don't know if you have that stuff or, or anything like that. I don't know, but... I'm just saying in general, it's yet. a good habit to get yeah, into yeah. because of how the game is designed and cards yes, will be designed around yes, it. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay. I will spend three. I'll play a Death Trooper. And Death Trooper will deal two damage when played to himself. And two damage to this guy. Another ground unit. And then, uh, I defeat a ground unit, I'll heal one from my base. Nope. That's a different... I have to do that as an action. Not, she's not in play anymore. That was last game. <laughs> Never mind. I'll do it as an action later. Uh, Kyle. Me. Uh, sure. Boom. Two damage back. I'll spend three for Star Viper. I'll hit one for my base. Cop. I'll spend three for... Ooh. When defeated, if he's got initiative, he draws two cards. I'll take initiative. Comes into play exhausted, right? Oh. Yep. And I'll click initiative. Uh, I'll do that right now. I'll take blast. Ping, ping. This. Regroup. Yeah, and then you flip it. Oh, Draw two. Terrible. Resource. Oh, yeah, you were doing planning. Sorry, we were rushing. I forgot yeah, you were doing planning. Yeah, you did the same thing last time. That's fine. I forget <laughs> that you took that token. <laughs> I'm forced to take that token. Mel. Good. Okay. I'll attack Rob, your base, for three. And I have initiative, so I'll restore one. I'll spend three. I'll give a unit minus two minus two. Dirty. And then heal two for my base. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm playing a different game this time. Back your base wrong for four. Is Sentinel? Mm. The patrol craft? Mm -mm. I'll heal one for my base. Out. I'll take initiative. I'll hit Mel's base for three. Spin five. Is that Borrelius? And this unit completes an attack. I have not really played against this guy. This unit completes attack of the defender was defeated. You may deal four damage to a ground unit. Ooh. Oh. Bzz. Bzz. Wow. Okay. Don't worry about him. Yeah. He's gonna go crazy. <laughs> He's not gonna live. Uh <laughs> I'll take the blast counter. Ping ping. Or did you take initiative? I did. Okay. Oh, yeah, so. Yeah. This again. Okay, Kyle's doing his planning. Draw one and put one on the bottom. Mm hmm. Yep. 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> and now, regroup phase. Draw two. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing it. I'm watching I'm you. Do your whole phase. <laughs> doing it. Resource if you want. You don't have to. Resourcing is optional. But you can't decide to do it later. You gotta decide now. And then ready your stuff. Okay, resource. Now ready everything. Everything that's exhausted in your, in your area. Including all your resources. Okay. No, ready them all. Dude, I'm not gonna... <laughs> and then destroy. <laughs> that would have been a fun card to play, but... Hmm. My turn, eh? Not rebels. So we're just going to attack Kyle's base for three, and then I have restore two. So I finish. And this with the restores. You feed anything yet that allows <laughs> me to restore. A lot of my cards. Mm. Mm. Your guy hits for four. This thing is Sentinel. But maybe you can get through that. Maybe. Uh, oh, maybe. Um. Mm. Yep, I'll spin four. I'll play Grand Moff Tarkin. Just a little weenie guy, but when he's played, I can search the top five cards of my deck for two Imperial cards, reveal them, and draw them. Imperial cards. Oh, I wish that was Imperial. Let's reveal. I only, only, oh no, I got three. Let's pick the cheapest ones I found. A six and a seven. The other one's an eight. <laughs> yeah, no, I just want dudes to play, like little dudes. Not big things, but other cards weren't Imperial. Okay, bottom of the deck shuffled. Don't mess with me. Don't think. <laughs> if we get there. Sentinel, one for four. For four, and he hits back for three. They both blow up. Um, uh, no. I'll spend four for a cane and Uh oh. I will heal one from my base. I'll attack the dark trooper. So he hits back for three. And four on your base. I think it has to be another ground unit. What? Yeah, so oh, yeah, you sorry. hit a ground yeah, unit. Yeah, ground. Uh, oh, wait. Mm. One or the other. Four, four damage? Yeah, yeah, four. Mm, that's a convenient number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to use Luke to give him a shield. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. I was going to ping him and kill him. <laughs> Not anymore. I but... can try to dig those card, expensive cards he can't play out of his hand. You can still use it. Yeah, no, that you... comes off the top of the deck, you dummy. And do they come off the top? Oh, I thought it was... I didn't oh, kill it. Oh, sorry, from the top. I didn't kill it. Oh, it's their crippled deck. It. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've never played with this card, so sorry. Uh, oh, your hand. Okay. Um... Mm. You're rebel. Probably just oh. break the shield yeah. off. Yeah. Uh, Vader, since I played a villain card, I'll do one damage here to get rid of the shield and one damage to your base. Sounds good. One, three. Well, you have an issue, this unit gets plus two attack. Nice. On the play, Leo. Um, I will. Let's go. Hmm. Maybe. No. Let's take the blasts. Oh no, initiative hasn't been taken. Nope. Do I care though? I don't know if I care right now. Yeah, I'll take the blast. Damage, damage. 
Mm-hmm. I'll pick initiative. Okay. I will attack Rob's base for four. And then I'll take this planning. Draw one. Spot on the bottom. Which one? Be... six, right? Come out. Yeah. Why didn't you do that this turn? I was. I didn't have enough. Like I got nothing. So but I, you do this, no? Or no, you didn't. Couldn't. Uh, well, could. you could attack with him. I hit know. a base. Draw yeah. a card. Put it but, down. Deploy both your leaders. You could have been smashing right now. Right. I know, but I, I missed. It's fine. Days. I thought it was. It oh, you was could do a base, base too? because I got confused by reading these other events that affect base. Like I know but, you want to do this ability, but it, like if I'm trying to get my leaders. No, I know. I thought I was going to hit your base for four, which oh. is, would. would Use that in my gotcha. head. Oh, in, my head in my head, those cards work together. Gotcha, gotcha. But I guess you would want to do it the other way, right? Yeah, because if you hit a base, you wouldn't no, get to do any of this. Yeah, you can't. Right. Yeah. So it's still good, like what you did. Oh, just I see. I see. Yeah, yeah. I see. Okay. Uh, planning or uh, regroup? Sorry, yep. regroup. Draw two. Go to six. He's a rebel. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to deflect, but I'm only have this little weenie. I know. But, but if we I, let her go, like I'm, she always takes initiative, she can attack with both of these before we get to do anything. And she hits for four, but she only hits for three if you attack her. But if. Oh, maybe. Uh, no, I won't be able to do my ping to get rid of him before that. Um, But yeah, you can do whatever. But I'm just saying. No. Don't be mad when she smashes me and yeah, then smashes yeah, yeah. Hold you. On. Okay, I'm using this guy to attack here. Okay. For five. Let's hit back for four. But then the on attack will Yeah, you won't right? get this because oh, he won't, won't be around. No, he won't be, yeah, he won't be alive. Yeah. So you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Oh, I thought it still would. Nope. You have to, you have to still be in play after the whole damage is dealt and everything. Mm. So he's really only gets to do this kind of once unless you can put shields on him or heal him. Yeah. But that's not really what your deck does. You want me to heal him? I can't. Well, Sorry. Use this guy to, to waste fire bill. That's protecting your base, maybe. Yeah, what's better, putting five on Leia or just taking rid of this guy? Well, if Leia gets to go, she can oh, immediately right. make another rebel attack. I this is not a rebel. I will attack this guy then with this. So we just take trade. Each other out? Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, she goes next. Yeah, I can't do anything anyway. Hmm. I'll attack Kyle's base for four. I'll heal one for my base. Kyle? Um, kind of like, okay. Sure. Now I'll hit your base for five. I will hit base for three. Hmm. 
don't know what you're doing. Not exactly what you're doing. Uh, I'll hit Leo for two. You're drawing with Cassian? Yep. Okay, Mel. Six for the ghost. He gets a shield. And then there's no other Spectre units that I have. He got rid of them, unfortunately. The ghost, Spectre's home base, shielded. Uh, when played or on attack, you may give a shield token to another Spectre unit. Which would have been Kane and Jarvis, but he got rid of him. Or this guy. Oh. I don't want to give him a you shield. You sure you don't want to give him a no. shield? It's, you Maybe may. if we discuss on attack. Or but... Ezra Bridger, he's a Spectre. You shouldn't give him a shield. Yeah, you can use that as like negotiating Check tactics. Check out my shielded friend. My friend that could have been shielded. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's go with mm. what is Cassian four six? Oh, this is gonna be dirty. Um, you're tapped out. You're not. I'll play my leader. Or one of my leaders, sorry. I can't deploy him yet. I need seven. Not all of us can deploy all our leaders at six or less. And five. Bring the snow speeder. Uh, oh, with his ambushing? Play, yeah, no, ambush her. Okay, it loses the shield, hits him back for four. Yeah. He's exhausted. What's the on attack? Exhaust uh, an enemy vehicle. Ground, yeah. Ground, all ground. Not many of those around here right now. Nope. Only other snow speeders, really. I'll deploy Luke. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's then uh... two. I'll deal five damage to Luke. And Cassian. Hmm. I'll deal four damage to your base, Rob, and then on attack I'll give Leia a shield. Hmm. Fifteen. Yeah. All. Oh. At your base for four. Tied health, lots of juicy leaders in play. Um, what do you do? Okay, attack Mel's base for, for four. four. I need a card. When you deal damage to an enemy base, you may draw a card once per round. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's uh, so yeah. I definitely take advantage of that with this. Take initiative. Okay. Uh, hmm. 
the shield here and do one damage to your base. And back to Rabbi, I already took initiative. Okay. Then one is yeah. What did Leia? Four? Hmm? And you get hit back for three. Yep. I'll heal my base for you not getting defeated. First Legion Snow Chuba. Blast. First time. And <laughs> I'll take planning. Draw. And then. I'll put this one on the bottom. And then we draw two. Resource. Seven. All right. Good. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll start with this. Or I lose some things. Uh, let's first attack with this rebel for five to your base oh. and four to your base. And yes, we're giving a shield here. I mean, it's you may. Yeah. I shouldn't remind you then. I should not remind you. Mm. Mm. Holy crap, holy, so many things. This guy's three left. Yeah. I'm going to attack four because I'm attacking a damage unit and it gets overwhelmed. So we'll kill him. One hits the base and this guy's gone. And I'll heal one. Where's he go? Exhausted back to his little yeah. leader position and then gets the token just like in normal play. Mm. 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 Two binds all things. Heal three damage from a unit. So let's heal three here. And then if you control a force unit, you may deal that much damage to another unit. So I can deal three damage. Uh, 
here. I'll heal once. Hmm. I'll spend five. Steal your spaceship. Thanks for giving me a shield. <laughs> Throw initiative though, so it doesn't heal yet. Maybe, maybe one day. Mm. Mm. You know, in that case, I am going to trade her a sit back. <laughs> no, I guess some three for a strike true. Oh no. And we'll deal Happy. five damage here. All right. Mm-hmm. What tags is there maybe physical? Hmm. I play black card no I didn't. Hmm. Eighteen, there's sixteen. I'll do three to your base, I guess. Right, we'll set all. Which board of Mel's base? Mine. Wow. No. It's getting up there in numbers now. You're now in the officially in the twenties. <laughs> One piece. I'll take initiative. Okay. Well, I guess it's yeah, that's when I do it. Happens. Oh this, yeah. Okay. When you deal damage to a beast. Ah, I see, I see. Okay. Uh Man, ghost is beefy. Hmm. You do too. Yeah, I'll do three damage to. Your base. Sure. Three damage to your base. Hmm. I'll deploy Vader. Just take this. Blasts. Uh, okay. Hmm. Let's kill Luke. But on attack, I'll do two damage. This guy. So it dies. And I take four back. Yeah. And you took that, you took that. I have no more stuff. So I'll take this planning first, draw a card, and then I must do my planning. I'll put this card on the bottom. Then I'll go to regroup, draw two. And then, yeah, resource, resource, going to eight. He's got, I guess we use him right or no, he's gone. 
Yeah, you ready? You ready? All your cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just clever in that epic action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right, I'm first. Yes. Hmm. So many things I want to do first. And you don't have two rebels anymore, though. Or I know what you would have been doing first. Vader had to come and take care of Luke. What should always happen? I'll open fire. Okay, I will. Spend three. Power of the dark side. Choose someone to defeat. <sighs> Forced my hand. That easy. Yeah, but seven damage is too much. With Vader. That's not to a base, though. No, five is, for and this guy. finish. Take note of his text. What did it say? Yes, Saw Guerrera. Love this card. As an additional cost for each opponent to play an event, they must deal two damage to their base. Unfortunately, <laughs> oh, you guys did the played. event already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just both did events. I know. Yeah, oh, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah. Two, four, five. I'll take my guy back. I guess. Oh, do they both stay on? Oh, mm -hmm. you have a different sleeve, so it's fine. Yeah, so if I discard that one, I'll get oh, okay. back, I think. I think that's how it works. If you discard an upgrade, do I choose or do you choose? Well, it depends who's it depends what it says. says. I guess, right? Stop looking at my base. Yeah, lots going on over there. Not really. 22. Oh, mm -hmm. Problem is, three damage, three damage, four damage. Still have options. So that's a total of quick math 10. Win the game, win the game, mm. or end the game. Come on, that's like. I know. Separate turn. Yeah, but she's already exhausted. Can't hit any of your ground units. Yeah. She's done. I maybe could take out one of your ground units, so that answers that question. Or else the game be over. And she can even damage a base, possibly. Oh, she can take out this. Yeah. Um, he stops that. But yeah, if we can let him run with the wave with the game. We don't deal with things, so I gotta deal with this so they'll trade. I don't think you're gonna attack. What's the aspects thing on this thing? Well, there are three aspects among other friendly units. This unit can't be attacked. I think you only have red and white, yeah, you though. Two. Oh. Yeah, you need a yellow guy. Yeah. You got heroism and you got yeah. uh, aggression covered, but you don't have yellow. Which I could have on my turn. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> Um, I'll just take your base mail. Three, three. three. I want to, um, to remove two. Four away. Oh my gosh. Um, Wait, four? No. No. Well, what am I supposed to do? But I, I can't know. Think about it. Well, I can do this actually. I'll attack here. Yeah, but you're. Uh... That'll remove a shield. That'll kill him. And then I can heal too. Ah, yes, initiative. One, two, three. Four. Initiative. Holy. Will it go another round? Maybe. Uh, actually, probably. Yep. Wait, attack your base, right? Yep. 
Hmm. When an enemy unit is defeated, give an experience token to a friendly unit. Oh wow, he's gonna be. Been, I don't think a game will go that long, but yeah, it would have been nice earlier. <laughs> not on eight resource turn. Maybe on five would have been fun. But what I got? Oh, you want to fight him, bro? You want to fight Gideon? Oh, he's just gonna bounce him back in my hand or something. We lieutenant. Hmm. Comes and play exhausted. Double. Yep. So attack for six. Attack your base for six. Yep, I'm out. Boom! And you heal five? Yeah. And then I will take an action and heal one for my base. Oops. We lose an associate with that card. And then back to you. And this guy already attacked, right? Yeah. That's right. I guess we'll just take this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, hey, I wouldn't even get there anyway. And then I'll take this, draw, and then put it on the bottom, and Kyle wins. Thanks. Nicely yes. done. Yeah, I was like, I thought you were winning like eight actions ago. I was like, there's well, nothing I, I, I can do. With his ability, I just picked this up. Otherwise, I had no way to get oh, the extra Oh, no two. way. <laughs> I was like, I got When you nothing. healed, I was like, yeah, I we're going to another nothing. round, That's possibly. That's all I could do. I had nothing in my yeah. hand. No, I couldn't. I couldn't. Freaking <laughs> Fleet Lieutenant. Yeah, I love Fleet <laughs> Lieutenant. Damn. Yeah, so I hate that guy. Oh, uh, yeah. Ate him. Good. Yeah, I don't know. Cool. Yes, I did get the Mando playmat. It came today. I did choose to go with the boxes because I liked it. It lines up with other people's mats, but I didn't go with attack for grounder units. So yeah, you, you shouldn't do that. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. it doesn't work sometimes. Of course, yeah. Anyone who puts like leader or ground in space, like, yeah, like that's awkward. Yeah, mm -hmm. so very awkward. Did. But I liked it with the stuff on it. He Unless you're just playing it. at home, and then your you know your family member, your friend, or your spouse gets the mat and they have the wording on the opposite side. Oh yeah. So that it lines up and you play with those two mats all the time. But then once you go to a store, it's like, this yeah, is awkward. Wild West, so. Yeah, they just need to say units. Yeah. yeah. Units. But, but I, I mean, like it clean like you that. don't even yeah. need to say units. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like the lines though. I think that's needed. Yeah, for me, uh, I think it keeps everything clean. Yeah, very much. Jacko says, coming off a 16 game losing streak. Oh. I'll take the two wins tonight. Yeah. Nice, nice Jacko. Rats on breaking the losing streak, just need to compensate and get up to a 16 win streak now. <laughs> <laughs> Jacko, you weren't here, but I was telling everybody that I won the tournament on went on Sunday. Yeah, so she's rubbing salt <laughs> in the wounds there, is what, she, what I hear is happening. <laughs> yeah, she went 4 0, crush everybody. Yep. Crush them all at a 14 player tournament. Mm -hmm. Weeklies. Anyways, oh, that was fun. Yes, definitely fun. Yeah. I love this format. Yeah. Love it. This is what I was trying to build up to is get you to play a few times, yeah, yeah, get yeah. comfortable with the game, and then we do this. And like, I was, I was like, hopefully Kyle likes it. Like, <laughs> of course, you know. I know, but like, <laughs> I, you never know, right? You might have a bad experience where like the leaders that give you or the you're not no, drawing good, or like no, no. Mel and I team up on you one game, and no. then you're like, screw this, I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> Leia, yep. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, I was going to say something. I totally forget now. Yeah, any any Twin Sons comments? Oh, yes, it was Twin Sons comments. I remember now. Do you think... So, I think this is a super fun mode. Mm -hmm. And I think it's it's fun because we know each other and we know how to talk and, like, joke around and stuff with each other and, like, you know, push each other's buttons. Mm -hmm. Do you think it would be the same playing with people you didn't know? Like, let's say you go to a tournament style where you're playing this and everyone's very, like, trying very hard to win. It's is it is the same, same as we go to Gen Con and play a board game with people. People just either some people talk some people yeah. don't okay you can negotiate and like stuff like that like yeah yeah like I was, like you know when you know somebody and you know how to like kind of like, like i played so one game i played i played a three-player game and i played with nick who i know mm -hmm. and uh so we're, we're being open but we're playing with a younger guy who we didn't even know his name oh okay. he was just sat there and then we uh the guy organized it just walked over and was like all right you guys want to play twin sons game because there's another table of four that started one right and we were all just where we were sitting this guy just sat there and we we're all just talking. They're like, okay, you three just play. And we're like, 
okay, that guy got handed a deck. We played with him. We didn't even know his name, but man, we we're getting into it. We're like, he would get hit, and then also he's like, oh, okay. And then we're trying to negotiate, and like, was he getting involved? In yeah, that? Okay, he okay. opened right up, and okay. like, we started negotiating, like, okay, if you take out that, you get the shield off that, I'll finish that, and like, we all started like working together, and like, yeah, it was pretty cool. Okay, okay, then. Yeah, everyone just open. It, it just got everyone to open up. Like, you can't just sit there quiet and like. No, I know, but you yeah, know, but but it was fun. Like at, at the first, nobody was attacking anybody. In this playing with you two, different than I've ever seen. You guys are just like. Space, 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 space. <laughs> like, attack, destroy. I know you have to do it for Cassian's ability, yeah. so it makes sense. Yeah. And that's why you're kind of like the rush deck. You get the game finished faster because you kind of want to hit the base. But every Twin Suns I've seen or I've played, the first few rounds, like, nobody wants to be the first one to take the shot. Oh. So everyone's just kind of building up a board. Maybe take out that unity is a little annoying. Oh, you know, clap a sentinel down so nobody, like, well, who's going to take care of the sentinel? Like... A lot of discussion who's at what health and people just attacking the one who has the lowest or the highest health remaining usually just the commenter i'm just attacking them they have the most health like oh that unit's a problem okay you take care of that you don't look i took care of that unit for you that unit's a problem like you know and, and it's like then it gets that last round and all of a sudden it goes from like everyone only has like 15 damage all of a sudden the game could end like because then people start getting aggressive mm. um interesting okay because yeah it's very like political you don't want to be able to just go out there and like slam it into a base means now they're going to slam back into your base. Yeah, yeah, you're creating And it's like a you're just speeding up the game, and some decks don't want to have the game sped up. They want to draw on their Vaders and play them and whatever, right? So maybe this matchup, like, you want to end the game quicker. You could have freaking won both games. If your leaders popped out on, like, turn five, by you doing Han's cheating ability to get six resources, Cassian, Han, and play before we even get our leaders out. I don't know Mel would have won. And then your leaders are all, that little combo would have been going around earlier. Yeah, you definitely would have been got sped them, up. I got them out early. I think not this last game. You didn't the the one we just played. Yeah, you did. Oh yeah, because I was short on cards for somehow. I, I, just, I was like it's running with you one, didn't one card in my it's hand. You didn't and attack with the like, guy to draw. Like yeah, you should have done that instead of hit units. The Zeb guy. Nick says quietly drop getting Hass, who is always a problem in Twin Suns. Yeah, I wish I had him earlier. Yeah. Yeah, because every time someone's dying, I'm just putting experience tokens. Oh my out. god, that yeah, yeah. huge. No, well, he just gives them to anybody or anybody, but yeah, he's yeah. your only character. I just need a sentinel and then put them all on oh, the sentinel. Yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. That's what I did before. I just don't think I... I don't know what sentinel are in this deck. Again, I, I just net deck this. I didn't really look at it. It's tough too because um, after my even after my mulligan in this game that we just played, like I had no, nothing I could play round one. So that's kind of tough too, right? Because the, the, it's a 50 card deck of all one-offs. Yeah, yeah. I drew super laser blast too. Like the... And then I was like, I will never get the eight, that eight resources. But we <laughs> did, I think. I think we did, yeah. Or no, we were uh, one away. I think we were one away. We were, yeah. But I resourced it. Or maybe it. that was eight when it just won there. Also resourced Avenger, I think, too. Yeah, Super Laser Blast. Kyle, I don't know if you've seen this card. The Lauder Morghulis. <laughs> it'll blow up everything. Yeah. It's just chaos. I would love to do it. But then I, if she was in play, she gets the heal. Even if she dies, she gets to get all the heals from everyone dying. <laughs> So it'll be like a fun little way to like end the game, kind of, but I don't know. One day I'll do it. I'll get there. It'll all line up. Today it was not that day. Oh. Um, and he says, oh, that's interesting. I only had the one Twin Suns experience and didn't have that cautious play style. Hmm. Yeah, I find that most multiplayer board games are very competitive where like people can team up on each other and... Um, make like alliances and stuff usually like you'll see kind of people being a little don't want to be the take the first shot right they needed a reason for why they're actually doing their actions so that you know people don't team up on them again it might be different in like a four or five player game than a three player game but it's had uh one sentinel well i never saw any oh i think i only one saw card. one base sentinel. One card. i have like two sentinels and then i have a spaceship that makes a sentinel for the round uh, but that's, I think, it. Oh, I have two space ones that I saw, yeah. Yeah, but wait till the game has more options, and then we're yeah, building, yeah. like, you know, you can put more choice, more Sentinels and things in your deck, or mm -hmm. load it up with tons of saboteurs to deal with all the Sentinels, whatever. But yeah, I freaking love this format. I love it. I love it. And eventually, just like with Magic, there'll be nights where you can go and just play Twin Suns, hopefully, at your local gaming store, and maybe that's the only format you play. Yeah. And it may be Fantasy Flight Games will start having... When they have full organized play, 
we'll have like store showdowns or whatever that are only twin suns or maybe events at gen con that are like tournaments for just twin suns or yeah. maybe yeah. just play one round of twin suns and get prizes for whoever wins their tables or something yeah like they if they take it serious but again it's not fully in the finalized mode till set four releases oh so they may not worry about it and set four is march of next year right because set one came out march set two is july then fall is set three so one basically one okay. year after the game being out Twin Suns will officially be 80 card decks and be in its finalized format. And I will guarantee you there'll be products released when set four comes out. On that set, there'll probably be a Twin Suns starter deck or a ah, Twin Suns pre built deck or something. I cannot see why they wouldn't do that once it gets to the 80 cards. There's money to be made there. So maybe they're not going to take it too official until that set four is out. So right now, everyone's just kind of playing when they want. Like, I, I go to our local one of our local meetups and it's like people say bring twin sons bring constructed but then some people don't or I, they say it's going to be premiere but then it's not and then like who's going to play some people bring extra twin sons decks so that if a game wants to bust out yeah but then sometimes we don't have the time because there's like a draft going to start or whatever so it's like very open and very up in the air but yeah this makes me love it and i want to bring like a twin sons every time the only problem is i don't own enough cards to play all my villain stuff and have decks built for constructed and have a twin sons like ready there's still some one i was like like did you not make a hero twin sons it's yeah but you cards. play with the hero but have a here have my deck hero and your deck villain oh i guess that so here's the thing as long that. as you're not playing with like luke skywalker let's say i only have one copy yeah so i would love that in a twin sons deck if i played hero right right like it'd be awesome because i don't put that in a constructed deck because there's only one yeah you know, maybe I put it in with like a mace or a pawn or something, but uh, it's like some of these I need like a fourth copy so that I don't have to for those like legendaries yeah. or whatever. Like let's say Darth Vader, I have three. He will always be in like almost every villain deck I ever play because I have three. I love Darth Vader; he's my favorite, right? At least until they release more sets, and then maybe he's not a three yeah. up in the deck. Maybe he's a two of, and there's another card that goes in that slot, you know, or whatever. Um, but he, I want in, I also want him in all my Twin Suns decks I ever play. Right. But until new sets come out. But right now, I only know the cards we have, right? So it's like, but maybe when the next set comes out, I'm making a Mandalorian with mm -hmm. whatever other bounty hunter pairing or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe they make a Grogu hero card, and then I put Grogu and Mando together. That would be awesome. Or somebody else. Or like a good IG-88, is that a thing? Because didn't he like have him help him or reprogram him or something? Or am I thinking of something else, probably? I know there's an episode where he's trying to kill him. Yeah. But then I think he like reprogrammed him. Yeah. I can't remember. That was a long time ago. Yeah, That's so long ago. But I don't know what else. Um, there's other, or like, do they have like a Boba Fett? Like a good Boba Fett that like pairs with them? Like book of Boba Fett, Boba Fett kind of thing. Like I don't know. Good, yeah. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Uh, but they better have someone that pairs thematically with Mando to make a good twin sons pairing. Hopefully, they thought of that. What about that girl? Isn't there a girl that? Um, there's two. Um, one that the has one that the, got like, booted the... off the show oh. <laughs> for her <laughs> oh. Twitter comments and stuff. Oh, maybe. But. Uh, I don't know. She's in like the first season, maybe. Like, oh, you're talking kind of like no, the yeah, you're talking the about um, bulky, yeah, like yeah, yeah. The, rough and tough, the, whatever her name was. Wrestlers. Yeah, yeah, she's like a wrestler uh, or UFC fighter or something. I don't know, but there's a couple like women that. Tina. Tina. Oh, I'm trying to think that he kind of like interacted with on the show. Yeah, but they need to be someone like main. They're, they're gonna yeah, use, and like, I don't side even characters. know their name, so I guess it doesn't. Matter. I can't remember all of them. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. But for now, with only the first set, like, we'll see. But it's hard to have a Twin Suns deck built for me because I want to have Vader in that deck, but I also want to have decks built with Vader in it and I can't. So I would guess I would just force myself. I would, like, have to not play, like, green to stay away from that stuff. But then if I play yellow, I want to have Boba Fett unit. I only have three of those because I traded the fourth one away. Mm -hmm. For other juicy, juicy legendaries. But yeah, so it's that kind of problem. Again, once this game has four sets released, I'm going to have so many choices if, yeah. I, if I'm still playing the game, obviously, and it hasn't crashed and burned by then. Um, or my local gr groups have all dried up and died. Like, you know, who knows? Um, 
yeah, then we'd have four sets to pull from. Then I'm not complaining. I would have so much choice, right? Mm -hmm. So that'd be fun. The assassin girl. Who's the one going for the dark saber? That girl. The like. Yeah, the redhead. No. Well, isn't isn't that one? It's like the blue one. She's like. Yeah, but she has like the Mando outfit. Doesn't she wear like the Mando ish outfit? I don't outfit? know. There's also the like blacksmith girl too, but I don't oh, think yeah, she'd be I don't a leader. Think be here, but... And then isn't there the one with the horn things that are like the weird horn colored things mm -hmm. that? Bo-Katan, that's that's her, right? Yeah, I forget oh, all the I names of these people. I can't remember all the names. I yeah. gotta watch the show again. <laughs> um but yeah i'm <laughs> probably making people mad as i'm trying to i know them. i know so sorry. we're so bad <laughs> we watch too many different ips and things i can't keep track of all the characters and all the lore she has like reddish hair right am i right in that that's what i'm thinking yeah and yeah okay okay yes. that's what i'm thinking but really i'll just play all villain stuff probably anyway so <laughs> moff gideon come here no? boy. oh okay is she what color okay maybe it's like the brown. no helmet wearing girl Oh, the no. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's probably an actress that's like, I have to show my face on screen. Oh, maybe. You can't hide me behind a mask. It's in my contract. <laughs> uh, but yeah. <laughs> yes, Canadian Star Wars has different characters. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't actually have this Star Wars. We actually have Spaceballs. Is our sci-fi... Um, IP that's super big up here and we've actually had multiple sequels of it released but all in French only. Somebody uh, wrote actually earlier in the chat they were like oh sorry I'm writing in American. Yeah, so. <laughs> the way they wrote the date. <laughs> yeah, <that's... laughs> I can't remember who you were but it was funny. <laughs> Hmm. Anyways, that's Twin Sons. Any questions? <laughs> we got through two games like pretty quick, I think, uh, considering. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Like, I thought it would definitely go longer because we'd like, be taking our time with every action and like the last rounds getting down to like, oh my God, like, gotta stop and think about every little damage we do. And, but yeah, that's pretty quick. Anyways, I don't know. That's it. That's all I got for you. Anything else? Mm -hmm. No. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for checking out Twin Sons. Uh, if you're excited for it, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if you've played it already, let me know your experiences. And if we goofed up anything too serious, let us know. Um, also, what are your favorite leader pairings? Because I, I obviously can't think of combos very well because I'm not that bright. Uh, but if you have some cool leader pairings that I should look out for, let me know. Because I want to build some decks and play these locally off stream uh, at, at my local game stores too. So... Especially villains. If you got some good villain pairings, let me know. I'm damn. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.